not recording. Okay, if anyone needs to get their sponsorship messages out of the way, now's the time. This is brought to you by Ray Shadow Legends. <laughs> All right. This new hero, uh, Dark Elf guy, he can fucking hide in shadow and be a. Shadow I like playing guy. Dark Elf guy because he's really strong and he starts at level 20. He starts at level 99, so you don't even need to level him up. Just go <laughs> fucking. Go, go pig wow. Legends and sing 80 hours of your life into it in one week. Or luckily you can pay was, 30 pounds now and just win. Luckily, that was yeah, last week's book, so you were getting paid for that. Uh, this week's is audiobook, brought to you by the Unsealed Friends, <laughs> voiced by Liam Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So, um, at the end of last session, yeah. you were on the Bearer Belly. I believe all of you were uh, late at night. Right. Um, you had been discussing what your next move was going to be after all of the information that you have discovered. You have several leads that you need to investigate. And it appears that uh, one of them may have uh, come to present itself to you, as it appears that there is indeed a witch hunter, or what looks to be a witch hunter, walking down the promenade of the Austin Dam, making his way along the docks. He hasn't gotten close to the Barabelli yet, but he does seem to be walking in this direction. You could, if you were so inclined, just try and hide somewhere. Or you uh, could uh, confront him. I, did. I want to make one last attempt, uh, and I'm going to plead, like, Lorne, please. I've lied multiple times. I've got us out of trouble. I've got us all out of scrapes. Please let me talk to the witch hunter, not you. Even the music's sad, Lorne. It's a big moment. Come on, Lorne, just step back. Hide inside with the others. <laughs> I'm going to walk out... Well, I... I... Uh, okay. I'm not going to say anything, but give you a gesture that says, you can try first, but I'm going to be right behind you. Okay, he gives you like this really complicated sign language that, that clearly conveys to you that that's what he intends to do. <laughs> you want me to push you in the water? Why? <laughs> <laughs> What's that about a banana? Okay then, uh, what are we going to do? I'm going to go into my posh voice. Okay. Currently... Uh, currently leaving to go below deck. Yeah, I, I went below deck at the end of last session. Okay. Uh, what is Anton uh, doing? doing? What am I doing? Celebrating 4th of July. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go... I'm going to, uh... make my way deeper into the ship and just try to, like, make myself scarce, I guess. Okay, so uh, you were pretty much all heading below deck, except for Whittold and Lorn. Uh, you've all made yourselves scarce. At which point, um, this uh, witch hunter continues walking down the path. Um, do you step off the barge to go and confront him? Uh, I'm going to stand just like uh, on the barge, but by the gangplank or whatever it would be, just so you know he can't come past me, but... You know, I'm sort of going out to meet him halfway. Okay. I'm going to stand right next to him. Uh, by him, I mean Whittled. Yeah, I'm going to drop into my, like, uh, posh boy voice, and I'm going to be like, uh, Hello there, actually, I've been looking for you. It's a matter most urgent if you talk. The, uh, the man is uh, clean-shaven. He looks to be in his, perhaps his late to mid-thirties. Um, he's dressed in what looks like the regalia of a witch hunter. Um, as you make your way over and you, and you hail him down, he squints at you suspiciously. And who are you supposed to be? I'm looking for one man by the name of Lorne. He was last said to be found here at this vessel. Lorne? No, there's no Lorne's here. Um, but uh, I, I do need to talk to you about a very important uh, thing. We've discovered corruption in the town. And uh, What? It is, well, it's beyond our pay grade. We've 
try talking to the guards, but you know who how are you supposed to be? Me, I am uh, Hans Zimmer. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay, uh, ro roll an average charm test. <laughs> Let's see if he's gonna buy this shit. I'm a famous concerted pianist. <laughs> it's just the first. Oh, and hands, and I thought, what goes with hands? <laughs> uh, what was it, uh, charm, right? Mm hmm. Uh, everyone's favourite. Average? Average. How are you feeling about that one? <laughs> 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 this is the exact same. <laughs> You've got a dark deal left. Uh, if I do that, I'm becoming a mutant. <laughs> Just in front of him, in front of him, I'm Hans Zimmer. He believes you, and then you start some mutating. Your your head. <laughs> Are you accepting that result? Um. I'm wondering what life as a mutant would be like. I mean, you some of those... You mutant next to the Holy Knight and the Witch Hunter. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not a good move. All right, then, Lorne, you're up. I... Can I... <clears throat> well, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, you don't get to wiggle out of it like that. I'm Hans Zimmer, turns around, dives into the canal. <laughs> Chaos corruption, you say, Mr. Zimmer. Indeed. Well, in that case, I think you'll have to be coming with me, won't you? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm need going to, to need... ask you some questions. It's up here, surely, I mean. No. You're coming with me. Uh... May I ask what you're looking for lawn for? You may, and first I'm going to ask why you're asking that question. Do you know him? I do indeed know him. Well, then where is he? Answer my question first. It is a matter of inquisitorial business. Now, where is he? I am he. House, uh, Knight of the Household of Primus... Ah, oh, crap, I've got his surname. Um, Von Bildhoff. Von Bildhoff, uh, and I demand that you identify yourself. Wait, you're Lorne? I thought you were Joseph. Um, this is very peculiar. I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to no, give you a flight. No, you're not my... going anywhere. Don't move. Do you move anyway? Uh, I'm just going to, like... Yeah, you know, take a step behind Lorne and then stop. My name is Inquisitor Gianni Urzatz. I need to find somebody that you were last seen taking the employ of. His name is Irwin. I believe he and his superior uh, left. Uh, after I paid them for the job they did this after, uh, earlier this very day. Um, I'm not sure where they have gone, but as I rewarded them quite heavily, I'm sure they'll be spending it somewhere. What was this job that you had them do? We found some... No, no, um... <clears throat> We found some beasts um, uh, and were out killing them. <laughs> we found some beasts. <laughs> we were uh, out killing them. <laughs> can I you can you make a, okay? No, no. Can you make a challenging charm test, please? Why? It's true. <laughs> because it's very obvious that you're bullshitting. <laughs> we found some. <laughs> We found some rats. Challenging, you said. Yeah. Oh my god, I made it! <laughs> he squints at you suspiciously, pausing for a moment and weighing up your words. It's of great importance that I find Owen as soon as possible. Do you know anything about where he has gone? I'm afraid I do not. However, if I do see him before you find him, can I have 
any details to re- relay to him uh, and help him get, and help get him towards you. If you find him, apprehend him and bring him to me. You will be rewarded. On what charge? That is a matter for the Inquisition. I cannot apprehend a civilian or mercenary when there is no charge. You can instruct them that the Inquisition is after them. That is a simple enough charge. I can do that, but I cannot contain him on such a reason. I need more than that. What manner of nonsense is I I am an Inquisitor! I have given you an instruction. Bring this man to me, if you find him, and you will be rewarded. No watchman is going to question my decree if you mention the name of Gianni Erzatz. When you say reward, like, how much are we talking? And whose service are you in? I am in the service of Sigma. I will pay you a gold crown. Oh, gold crown, I've got loads of those. Come on. Well, you're a common peasant. What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean... Uh, am, yeah, I, so am I supposed to believe that? Go, no, don't believe me. I'm obviously a liar. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm prepared to do something underneath. <laughs> <laughs> I make no promises, for I cannot say whether or not I will see him first. It is a matter of great importance. If you see him... Send him to me at once. Farewell. And why can you? Send him to the town hall. Very well. Thank you very much. He frowns at you for a few moments longer, then turns on his heel and begins to leave. He mutters something to one of the two men that are following him, who turns off to follow a different alleyway. Oh boy, that's lucky he didn't stick on that whole uh, corruption thing. I bet they're going to be watching us. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it is still quite late in the evening. Now the docks are fairly peaceful. All right, let's go oh, underneath Alice. and talk to the others. I'm going to go find Runk to see if he can remove any of these warpstone shards that have embedded from the rattling gunner. The pair of you make your way back down below, underneath, into the uh, hull of the Berabelli, where the uh, cargo hold is, and as it so happens, a bunch of miscreants. I'm going to to do the explaining uh, in hopes of Runk getting, managing to get Runk to get these shards out. Oh, you wouldn't believe it up there. Like, uh, Lorne was a nightmare. I managed to carefully smooth things over. (laughs) 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 uh, They're looking for the mercenaries we, we contracted for some reason. Well... Is Erwin actually beneath that? Erwin, Erwin is um, Erwin is indisposed in in the privy. I, be- I believe. <laughs> I, guess. I believe he received, he, he received an injury. He received an injury last time, and I have put him in a hammock and put him on bed rest. Right, uh, he, he he is like indisposed. Cool. Oh wait, are you saying that the mercenary hanging around with us is the one they're looking for? I'm yes. going to take pains not. To see Erwin. Oh, well, we should have just handed him over, man. The gold's gold. Wait, can I hear that? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what are you on about, Erwin? Was that what that witch hunter was all about? Yeah, he wants the mercenary. Like, I mean, we could sell him before you know, you get to know him too well, and then... You know, it's like a dog. You don't drown them after you what, get to know them. Do? Oh, it's probably something bad. Mm-hmm. So the well, Inquisition is after him. I yeah, mean, I mean the Inquisition is technically after us too. So, you not owe him your life, Antarius. Hmm. Did Erwin not save your life? In the sewers below. Yeah, uh, I'm not saying we should turn. Wasn't he not paid to do that? Not getting paid to, you know, bring him in. 
he was paid to work our job, and I don't think we should go around and betray him like that. Does that make any sense? Well, well we don't know. He might be some dark servant or whatnot left the witch hunters after him. Yeah, it could be anything, you know? He could be like two children or something like that. I mean, like, how else did he survive that fucking that fight you were in? It looked like you all used took a nasty blow, but he seemed fine. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, did he use supernatural? He's got supernatural abilities, has he? Or did he turn into a wolf? No. Cat. Like, rats don't like cats, no. right? <laughs> no. He did it. Turn into a cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, um... He used some abilities, for sure. Like, what oh, I know... Really? Like, what? what? What did he do? What I know that he's, like... Abilities? Lamb. Like unnatural ones. I am. Uh, no, uh, well, it was magic in some regard, but it's, it wasn't I'd like to, I'd like to say across like I heard him call out the lady's name before he did these glorious things. What do you know about magic? You're a dwarf. If he had, had hear it from it, the elf. The right? lady would have taken him when he was a child. He he literally threw rocks with yeah. like magic. I saw him do it. I know. I heard him call out the lady's name. And they flew with incredible accuracy. <laughs> he he flew in flying rocks. Are you sure? The lady was very does not accurate. at the peasantry. Are you sure it was the lady he was calling? I'm sure. Well, I don't. No, no matter what fucking damsel do you be calling out, like, this, this is clearly fucking witchcraft. And he ain't, he ain't coming out one of those universities, so he's clearly an apostate of some sort. I mean, we're right not one? much better than he is. Well, I mean... Well, I mean, I'm a well, I'm a well, uh, established businessman, and... Servant of the Empire, so I don't want you to run about. Yeah, they're after us for like mistaken identity and a murder, but we didn't do anything unnatural. No, not at all, no. Don't have anything unnatural on me. Just Meanwhile, um, there is something that needs to be resolved here. Um, Lorne is um, asking if he can be healed about his warp zone. Is, is, is Runk interested in, in providing that service? Yeah, I'll turn around. To say, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best, but I'm not wasting any more supplies on you. Okay. Appreciate anything you can do. Okay, make a make a difficult heal test then, please. Hmm. Runk uh, begins working on the uh, on the embedded warpstone bullets that have dug themselves through the uh, chainmail and the and the gambus and have embedded themselves in in Lorne's flesh. And uh, working on him in a in in a on a, on a small kind of barrel slash table thing at the back. Um, Lorne, can you make for me please a difficult endurance test? Lord, uh, the rest of you can hear the uh, sounds of screams of pain and groans of agony as these. Nasty little warpstone bullets are dug out of Lorne's flesh. Lorne, take 1d4 in wounds, ignoring your toughness. Oof. As Runk sets about you with what you might describe as a little bit less grace and caution than might be appropriate for a good surgeon. The bullets are out, but uh, bloody hell, that's a lot of blood. I'm going to go and lie down. Um. <laughs> you, uh, you you all see the uh, large Bretonian knight come staggering up from, from the back of the vessel, uh, now covered in bandages and looking quite pale. Thanks. I appreciate it. Glad you're alive. It was interesting trying out surgery for the first time. I'm glad I could be of assistance. <laughs> well, you know, I slap it. I slap him on deliberately. Slap him on a bullet hole. 
and I'll say, well, you know, I'm glad that uh, after you prayed over my brother, I could, after you prayed over my dwarven brethren, I could do something for you. I can return the paper. <laughs> I'm glad we put that to bed now. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure Grimnir will bless you. I just walk off. I smile at him through gritted teeth. So, so um, what's the what, what, what was the plan now? You have several leads, and at this point, it's kind of down to your own initiative to decide what you're going to do next. Obviously, the forces of Who, chaos are moving at their own pace. It's me, the voice in your head. <laughs> I'm um, going to turn in for the night. It's me, the narrator. Uh, yeah, I, I think we should see to our wounds before doing anything else. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna turn around and say, I'll be honest, lads, that last fight took a lot out of me. I don't think I'll be good for any real combat for a while. Yeah, a lot. At least, at least a month. Yeah. Mm. I've lost, a, I've lost a finger. I'm a fifth of the way to being towards Antares. I've lost a <laughs> from my body, but... Um. I'll be handling operations until I'm uh, well enough from the ship, I believe. <laughs> I I, I'm not making five feet past the ship without shitting the breaches, so... But what, what uh, time of night? You're up at the moment. Um, I think, as, as I recall, it's actually like very late at night now, if I'm not mistaken. I think you got back, it was like literally midnight or 1am. Mm. Like 1am. It was late okay. evening, I think. Um, oh, I thought it was more 11ish, but eh, I don't know. No, I, I remember it being like around the night. Well, I mean, enough yeah. time has passed between the surgery and meeting the witch hunter that it probably is about. Yeah, right that's away, a bad point. yeah. All right. uh, I'm going to turn in then because I do still have some wounds to heal. Um, One wound left, so I definitely would turning in. I'm going to uh, clean up uh, and get rid of the poop smell from the sewers. All I'm hearing is it's an opportune moment to kill your horse. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Um, I'm thinking about going off to talk to Tugan on my own, but it's also a little bit too late. I don't know if he'd see me. It's not what, something, not something you... can't do. Huh? You, I mean, you can try. Yeah. Um, You'll be on your own. Uh, I, I tend to go on my own, yes. Um, how long does it take for me to like clean up and like get rid of the poop smell, basically? Um, probably about 20-30 minutes. Okay. In fact, I, no, I thought you'd already done that. I did Yeah, I thought you all had. Yeah, you, the... you've all already oh, right. bathed. You all, you all already did that. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll keep watch for like a little bit and like pretend that uh, uh I'm, I'm gonna be you know watching the boat and then uh when everyone goes to bed I'm gonna make my way to Tugan. Okay, so I don't think anybody else is staying up. I think everyone is going to sleep. I would get a little rest. John can, but he's sleeping right next to the lavatory. But Just wait for it. Waiting for oh, it's coming, buddy. <laughs> so, what is it we have to roll? And can I, can I help Kurt with that at all? No, no, it's not really much. Okay, he, so not not much you can do for him at this stage. I've already taken uh, what is it? The most you... intense laxative of your life. Yeah. Uh. And I've had a I've had the fucking chub up now, so you know this is personal experience, lads. Yeah, could we uh, maybe I don't know, give him some Guinness? That might help. <laughs> Yeah, just fucking so I think for a long rest you need to make a, it's an endurance test, I believe. Yeah. If you just click on the sleep rest and recover, it's next to. Oh yeah, I think oh, yeah. You, there's actually a little button you can press. Where? Where's that? The bed thing right above the woods. I didn't notice that. That's really handy. Bed Ow, I did it. I don't even know what. It's automatically oh, it's average. Isn't oh that correct? God. Yes. So, see, wounds, is it until you get zero wounds you die? Yeah. Or... Well, you don't die at zero wounds, you become unconscious. Yeah, that's um, it. And then you take uh, critical You have critical to wounds. critical wounds equal to the amount to actually die. Uh, when you go to zero wounds, you do automatically get critical wound. 
but it's rolled at a minus 20 penalty, so it's not that bad. What else does the rest give you? Like, I mean, I might as well... I might as well minus just... one fatigue, baby. That's all I care about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's minus one fatigue, and you gain your wounds. I have a sweet dream about gods and uh, all things good. And <laughs> Impressive right. failure. Current has the shittiest night. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you were uh, you you barely get any good sleep. Meanwhile, um Antares oh, sorry. takes himself off. Um probably somewhere around three AM, four AM, something like that. Um takes himself off and heads down the Hafenstrasse. The entire town is utterly deserted. You can hear the distant sound of like dogs scampering through the streets and uh the um Distant, very distant, raucous laughter of one tavern that stayed open way too late. Otherwise, the streets are... It's just a ghost town. A few mm -hmm. flickering lights um, in the windows. You continue making your way down the streets. You cross over onto the Platzweg, making your way towards the Olden Ring. You don't encounter anything or anybody. And finally, you arrive at the uh, at the Olden Ring, which is quite serene and quite beautiful at this time of night. Um, it's very calm, very quiet. The uh, fountain continues to flow gently in the middle, surrounded by statues of various imperial cult deities. There is several lights on in the town hall, although the doors are closed. And as you arrive... Um, oh. Make a challenging perception test. <laughs> is, is he gonna see the shit, the skid marks? Oh no. <laughs> oh, you, don't, you, don't, you don't need a, you don't need <laughs> you don't need a perception test for that. As you turn the corner and start heading towards uh, House Tugan, um, in the top right hand corner um, of the building's front, uh, in the window, you see a flash of purple light. It flickers just for a moment as if there was like as if there was a bolt of lightning that had just struck inside that room. A flash of pink purple, and then it's dark again. Is there any guards outside the building? No. Um How scalable is the wall? Is it pretty difficult or would it be pretty straightforward? Um it has a spiked uh, rail fence around it, but you could cl one of the best ways of getting in there would be to climb one of the adjacent buildings and then mm. jump over onto the roof. Alternatively, you could try and vault the f vault the fence. Hmm. Although whether or not there are any guards patrolling the grounds inside is a different matter. I'm There's also a to... bell that you could ring on the front gate. Oh, the easy option. The easy option, for sure. I kind of want to spook him, though, so, uh... I want to... Play knocked or run. <laughs> um... Do I seem more confident in hopping the fence or jumping across the building, you think? You think it'd probably be easier to climb the fence but if there's anybody on the ground they would probably be able to see you easier if you took that route hmm. or if there was anyone looking out the window you'd probably get seen okay I'm gonna uh, climb up an adjacent building and jump across then okay you make your way round to the side um, heading closer towards the stevedores guild um, you're making your way towards this pile of crates when your foot slips on something and you stagger a little bit and you look down and you see that there's this greasy, slimy mess of blood and poo on the floor <laughs> here. Next to these crates. Kurt, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll, I'll still make my way up the crates. and uh... You start scrambling up the crates, making sure to avoid the ones that look suspiciously sticky. Um, Getting your way up towards the top, you uh, scramble up onto the uh, onto the building. Can you make a average climb test? Well, I'm like that. I couldn't climb stuck like shit. 
You uh, scramble up onto the uh, roof tiles without any much difficulty. Um, take a short run across the top of the building and jump over and then you land on the roof of the Tugan estate. Um, okay. Um, I would like to uh, approach uh, the window where I saw the flash as uh, quietly as possible. Okay. You uh, make your way uh, down towards like the gutter or like the lining of the roof uh, that would mm -hmm. let you drop down onto the balcony where this window is. You can't quite get an angle. Do you want to kind of like? You, well, you've got you've got two options here. You could either drop down to get a proper look, or you could try and sort of peek over from the roof and lean down to look over it by hanging onto the gutter. Um, I'll drop down. Okay. You, uh, sling yourself off the, uh, side of the, of the roof tiles and you drop down onto the balcony. And looking inside, you see what looks like a corpse sprawled on the floor on top of a carpet of some description or some kind of lining or tarp that's on the floor here. You can see it's kind of horrific, actually. Can you make a cool test? Challenging. You manage to steal your nerve. You don't turn away as you've seen this horrific sight. You can see it looks like it's probably a woman, you think? A human female? Mm. And the heart has been removed from the chest, the rib cage has been broken. Suspiciously similar to what happened to the dwarf that you found in the sewers. Hmm. Okay. Do I see uh, Tugan in the room? Or no. anyone in the room? No. It's dark. There's no lights. It's just... You, the only reason you can see this is from the ambient light of the moon. I'll make my way into it inside. You need to get through a locked window first. Okay. Um, you could either a... try to pick lock it, which I don't think you're particularly skilled at, or you have the tools for. You could I don't smash it. Yeah. Um, or you could, if you have some kind of crowbar-like tool, maybe you could like leverage the uh, the frame and try to get it out of its frame. Um. Can I use my dagger to try to do that? Um, be improvised, so I'm going to call it a difficult test. Uh, but mm. you might be able to give it a go. Uh, let me just have a look and see what I want you to roll. I don't think you've got sleight of hand. I don't. No. Going to have a difficult agility test. Your characteristic. Actually, I think it's dexterity. Yeah, it's dexterity that it's meant to be. Oh, uh, dexterity? Yep. Difficult? Alright. Difficult, yeah. <laughs> okay. You uh, push the dagger into the um, into the frame and you wedge and you, you haul on it. You can feel that it's starting to give way, so you kind of like brace yourself against it. You give it another shove, and then alarmingly it comes free with a force that you didn't expect. You almost fall backwards over the balcony, staggering. You, As your hands flail, you lose your grip on your dagger. It falls down to the grounds beneath you, and the window frame itself tumbles over the balcony and smashes on the ground below. <laughs> uh, I go into the room quickly and see if I can find somewhere here to hide. Jump inside, there is a cabinet, there's a wardrobe, there's also a bed you could hide underneath. Uh, I go underneath the bed. You can hear the distant sound of muffled voices from somewhere below, and the sound of stomping feet. Someone shouts an alarm. I keep waiting. I want to see if they come up to the room. You hear the scuffing of feet outside the door, and then the sound of two people struggling, maybe? Like, like uh, 
someone interposing on someone else in some way. And you hear the the, the muffled sounds of, It won't be necessary. Don't go in there. I'll check it myself. Hmm. Okay. Some protests. And then uh, the sounds of someone moving away. And then the door creaks open. You can't see the door from here, but you can see that there are boots on the ground here. The door slowly creaks shut behind whoever's just entered. And you can smell sulfur. Hmm, okay. The boots creak on the ground as they move closer towards the middle of the room. They squat slightly. Seems like the figure there, you can you can kind of see the bend of the knee and the shin where they're like crouching over the corpse. You can hear sniffing. Then you hear a weird snarl. And you see a clawed hand with like three fingers, each of which has a long claw on the end and it's scaly. Touches the, the corpse and drags along it, cutting into it, sniffing the blood again, licking it. And then turning towards the window. There was a hiss of rage. And then this thing, this person, question mark, moves closer to the window, looks outside, and you hear a whoosh! As the figure does something, you're not too sure what happened. Mm -hmm. But because you're an elf, you can smell magic like it's an ozone. Okay. You think you're on your own? I as, as far as as far as your eyes and ears can tell you. I crawl up from underneath the bed. You can see that there are some scratch marks in the ground here. You can see the marks where the claw had dug into the uh, into the body. And you can see that there are a few blue and yellow feathers. Scattered around the balcony where you had been before. Do I have any idea what the feathers mean? They look like feathers to you. Mm -hmm. I'll take two of them. They're very uh, colorful. Yeah, like I'll like I'll take like one yellow, and one blue. They're actually uh, both colors. Um, like the the stem of the flower okay. of the of the um feather is yellow, and then like the ends of the uh of the of the plume is uh. Or the, the down, I suppose, is uh, is blue. Okay, so um, I will grab like a, like a single feather then and uh, stuff it into like a coat pocket. Um, after I do that, um, I go ahead and check the rest of the room, see if I can find anything in there. Okay, you take a look around. Uh, do you wish to investigate in any of the drawers or cabinets? Do you want to open the wardrobe? Hmm. I'll open up the uh, the wardrobe. Yeah. Opening up the wardrobe, you find some very fine and nice looking clothes. Um, it seems that this was probably some sort of bedroom. Um, the clothes in here are quite high quality, at least gold one, if not better. I would um, totally steal them. <laughs> there some some really nice silks in here. You could take them if you were so inclined. Yeah, I'll, like I'll, t I'll find a pair that like suits my taste basically, and keep one for myself. You making sure to acquire the important things in life while you're surrounded by horrific things. Yeah, you uh, acquire yourself a nice set of gold one apparel. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also a bedside cabinet. Um, I'll take the uh, cabinet too. See what's inside. It's locked. Don't got my dagger anymore. Uh, I can't pick it. That I could brute force it. So, uh... <sighs> what do I do? Using your mental powers, summon Runk from his sleep. <laughs> Wait, just so like... he's gone, actually. So, I'm going to take the cabinet, and I'm going to, uh... Throw it out, out the window again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. you grab you grab the cabinet and you yeah. fling it out of the balcony and you lean over to look down at where it falls 
and you see that it shatters and falls to, falls apart into a, into a splinter of mess and wood. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, you can't actually see what's inside the cabinet because it's underneath like the rubble of wood. But oh, you, that's completely fine. If you could get down there, you obviously you could go and get whatever's inside. No, so what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to climb uh, back up to the roof and I'm going to wait for the guards to come back to the room, basically, and see if they'll inspect the room themselves. There is, uh, sure enough, within a, probably about 20 seconds, a stampede of uh, six men uh, dressed in armor, carrying halberds, uh, come barging out of the uh, building. They come to inspect the uh, destroyed um, cabinet. They're talking among themselves, asking, like, what could this have been? Where, where did this come from? Where is the person that's doing this? One of them moves, o moves over and picks up your dagger. That's fine. Inspects it for a moment, shows it to the others. Then they nod and they start heading back inside. We'll take it to Mr. Tugan. You'll know what to do. I wanted them to come to expect the room, but maybe, maybe they won't. Um... All right. Um, How long are you head, willing to wait? Do they head back inside? They've gone back inside. So I'm gonna climb back. I'm gonna climb down the roof then, and I'm gonna make my way to the ground floor to see if I can check the cabinet real quick. Okay, can you make a climb test for me, please? Average. It's gonna fucking suck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Going up, best. going up was all well and good. Coming back down, especially with one hand, is uh, a little bit more on the difficult side. You slip and you yeah. lose your balance, and you tumble a good ten to twelve feet down to the ground, slamming into it and taking one d four in wounds, ignoring your toughness. Uh. Sorry, one d five. Okay. I'm pretty fucked up now. Groaning in pain, you uh, struggle to get yourself back to your feet, and you can hear a muffled shout from inside, and the sounds of more stamping. Uh, am I in some bushes? Uh, no, you're, you're literally out in the middle of the ground. You've just fallen to the ground next to the cabinet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, can I see, like, any documents or anything, or, like, anything that I can just grab really quick and just, like, bolt, basically? There is a letter. I'll grab the letter and I'll just bolt. You seize it and you uh, run for the... Uh... How are you getting out? Uh, fuck me. The gate's uh, locked. I'm gonna jump the fence. Again. You gotta try and jump the fence. <laughs> Holding a scroll with one hand and no hand on the other. Yeah. Well, like, I'm gonna put the... Put the letter in your teeth. <laughs> yeah, put the letter in my teeth and just, like, fucking... Like try to Kobe this shit, you know, just like sprint right. and run. This is going to be a challenging athletics test. Oh god! For the power of the unseen prince. Oh my god! Oh, dude! Uh, <laughs> Do I re-roll it? Do I yeah, take a dark uh, deal? <laughs> you know, I had a cousin. Oh, you haven't got fortune, have you? Got, yeah, no, he's an elf. He doesn't have fortune. I don't have fortune or fate now. Uh. That's your sack split open. That's happened, my cousin. Uh, like, no, I just can't take any more wounds. So if, like, I fuck up the jump, I might actually kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wound. To be fair, fair, you could, you could uh, spend one... You could spend one corruption point to just get one significant level of something, can't you? You can't. You can't. No, no, no you can't. you can do is re-roll. Re uh, well, up to you, man. Uh, okay. I'm gonna re-roll it. Fuck it. Oh, God. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, my god. oh betrayed! Betrayed! Oh my god! He's dead here, honestly. Oh my shit. god! You uh, lunge. You lunge for the um. For the gate, uh, for the top of the gate, your hand grips it, and you grasp onto it, and then you feel underneath your hands just this slimy substance. Over the top of it, and your fingers slip, and you lose your grip. You fall to the ground, you slam back down onto the grassy earth, and you're frantically scrabbling to get back to your feet when you can feel the point 
of what well, some sort of weapon, a sharp weapon, pointing at your back. Don't move. <laughs> I just thought you were going to go with he tries to reach up with his other hand and then realizes. <laughs> <laughs> When you said slimy substance, I instantly assumed that somehow current shit. <laughs> current shit. Game. Game. That's what I thought as well. That's yeah, what I thought I'm, as well. I tried to climb uh, the fence over the crates. That's when. Well, his enemies are adapting. Mm. <laughs> They're using his substance against him. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right. Uh, so I uh, I put my hand up in the air. <laughs> What do you think you're doing here, you little thief? Looks like you're already missing a hand. You ready to lose the other one? Not particularly. <laughs> yeah. You uh, feel two gruff hands attempt to grab you. Are you going to resist and potentially get killed? Or are you Fuck. going to let them take you? Um... Uh... I'll let them take me. I'm You're dragged me. back inside the estate of House Tugan. Ooh, I just remembered something as well. Meanwhile, yeah, to... <laughs> nothing anyway. So it looks like he served himself up. Meanwhile, back at the Berry Belly, um, it's now coming up to like six or seven in the morning. Um, you've uh, you've all had a good night's rest, more or less. Oh my. Uh, and the early bird today is Kernt, who didn't really get uh, much sleep at all. Wakey, wakey, eggs and breaky. And uh, as, you, uh, as you crawl out of your hammock, scratching your painful ass, you uh, come out onto the deck and realize that Antorius isn't here. I'd call out for him. Check the deck. The only thing that you're calling out summons is Whittold, who wakes up shortly after you. Do I hear eggs he's, and bacon? He's not... He was on night watch. I mean, I'm not going to eat any bacon you're cooking right now. Oh, where is he? Is he a... <laughs> More for me. Yeah, he was on the night watch, weren't he? Who, who's on second post? Or did we have a second? I don't think we did. Uh, those elves can fucking... Is he in his They're bed? They're late though? for days, I think. Right, you don't think they've kidnapped him, do you? No. <clears throat> Runk and Lorne are soon to follow. I mean, they were. They said they wanted to. Yeah. Wow, they must be better than we thought. They sneaked in here and got him without Maybe making it was a that sound. Witch hunter. That's why he came by earlier. No, it's going to be too good, isn't it? They were, they were going to be kidnapped. Yeah, I'm just going to throw throw cover my leader. eyes as I walk past where Erwin is and then join up with Kurt and Whittled. Maybe you're all right, Whittled. Maybe they did take him then. Lorne, have you seen the elf? I'm afraid not. Is he not around? Oh, he's gone. No trace. Not that I can see. And, you know, I've been shitting all night. And they even did managed you... to take him while you were awake. Wow. Did you hear him leave or anything? Well, I could hear my bells going, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, well, let's not panic just yet and see if he turns up in another few couple of hours. They're going to sacrifice him to the Dark Gods. Yeah, that's what Whittled said. Like, they might have came for him in the night. Like, where else could he be? Maybe he went and get some, you know, sweet buns for us. Alright, do you want to check to see if there's been any disturbances at... Whose was it? Councillor Tugans that you heard he was going to sacrifice? No, they said that he, they've moved that cult thing to one of his... Uh, his warehouses. Yeah, right? we're going to have to find out where his warehouses are. All right, well, why don't you see if you can go and find that, and once you have, let me know if... As you're discussing... As you're you're discussing... Hang on. As you're discussing all of this, um, you hear a cry from further down on the... on the Austin Dam, as you see a tall, lithe figure with one hand making his way closer towards you. He raises it and waves, and then starts making his way closer to the bare belly. It's Antares. Oh. Oh, well, that resolved itself. I told you. I told you. Right 
Fuck no, 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 I found Why something interesting. Sound so different? Don't worry about it. I sound like Antorius, I promise. I thought he was Canadian or something. <laughs> <laughs> the elf looks uh, slightly red faced and he wipes some sweat from his brow. It looks like he's acquired some new drip. Does it definitely actually... look like Antarius? Height and everything. Yep. This is Antarius. Sounds like Antarius, looks like Antarius. I'm not sure he sounds like him. Me, I, I, I mean, I'm not suspicious at all, so... What, uh, where, where what did you find where out? Where were you? You were meant to be on watch. I know, I, I went to, to Councillor Tugans last night. Why'd you do that? There was that witch hunter prowling about. He could have came back and you know, we thought they got you. Can I tell you that they were trying to hunt you down as well? I, I, I know, but I, I really thought that I could find something interesting, and I did. So you know there's, there's this... Uh, there's this guy, Frederick, um, who's part of their little cult. This yeah, I know him. He yeah, sounded yeah. like a bit of a weedy one. Yeah, so it turns out that he has been chosen to be the sacrifice for their ritual. And he doesn't know about it. We could go and warn him and get him to betray everybody. Well, uh, I kind of think maybe the play is to go to the Witch Hunter and... Uh... You know, the guards aren't going to help us, so I, don't, I think it's a bit above our head. That's well, probably I guess, wise, yeah, but, but we don't really have enough proof, do we? I'm with the who's elf. Go, who's going to believe us over them? Well, we, we do have the ledger from the Stevedores Guild. The, uh, yeah, the, the ledger. We could, uh, we could take that to, to the Witch Hunter, but, uh, you know, I think that they're going to ask more questions of us before they're going to investigate anything. And by then, it might be too late. They're obviously planning something terrible. We saw that thing in the sewer. Not wrong. Perhaps we send... We, I, we, perhaps we stop at the guard on the way to Frederick's. What would be the point? To show that he was engaged with illegal activity. You still have that evidence, Arius. What do you say? I mean, I, I have the ledger, so... The other thing we could do is, like, this Frederick guy was pretty weedy and wimpy. I reckon you could probably get him to... If you got the witch hunter involved, he'd turn evidence on them, I think. You could probably threaten him to do that as well, especially now that we know that they're going to do him instead. Stick the dwarf on him. That yeah, sounds like a good, good idea to me. Idea. Yeah, he'll probably turn. And then once we get him, we could probably take him to like guard or the witch hunter and he'll spill his beans. Sounds like a plan to me. If only we had someone capable of threatening people, and then I'd just like eye rank and give him a whip. Oh, I'm sensing a classic Runk and Whittled adventure, Whittled. Yeah, I mean, the last couple of times I've gone out with the others and it's just not as fun. It's time hey, to put the old band back together. We had a good laugh. Well, that's what you... <laughs> God, you know, <laughs> became Flux that. Boy over there. I mean, that sand guy was quite ho a good host. That was a good little afternoon tea. Well, speaking about sand, I sent a man down last night to that... Oh, this was it the Cross Swords, that... That tavern he was on about, you know, to get the contact. He's not, he's not showed back, has he? I haven't seen him come back yet. I don't know, ask the voice in your head that now sounds like uh, Antonis. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you're aware, no, the guy that you sent to the cross spikes has not come back. <laughs> I did send him a bit of coin, but, you know, the, Joe's men are, you know, they, they know to come back to the boat, so... You know, I thought if by morning he's not back... Maybe one of you just can... Okay, a... right. And Antorius. This is Antorius speaking. I've got an idea. What if I go to the guard, and I'll take I'll take the ledger to them as well, and you guys go and see Frederick and see if you can get him to fess up? I don't know about the guard. I don't trust him. I'd rather go to the witch hunter, because even though uh, he has... I'll go with finish. you to the Inquisitor. Yeah, I think... Like, to the Inquisitor? I don't think that's a good idea. 
Well, the garden can do nothing. But the Inquisitor will do something. The garden no too corrupted. We've found proof of that. I think the Inquisitor. <laughs> you think is the, the Inquisition the aren't? I guess you haven't been in Brightland long enough. Yeah, but the time, thing is with them is that like, can... last time we fought an Inquisitor, the Inquisitor did well. I'll admit I am not as physically capable right now as I have been previously. And potentially having someone with that level of skill on our side could come in handy. Are you refusing a fight there, Runk? That's so very brave of you. Lorne, come on! Now's not the time! <laughs> you just, like, you just, like, fix things, Lorne. Why yeah. would you? How's those injuries, dickhead? <laughs> What I'm, I'm getting... saying is, like, assuming the Inquisitor doesn't, like, kill us on sight, he will at least do something against whoever it is. If it was the Emperor, he'd still act, you know? Whereas the guards, like, as soon as there's a bit of money or something, they're, they're not going not gonna to push against anyone powerful. They'll just probably just throw us he in the He didn't try anything last night. So whilst we still have a bit of goodwill with him, this might be the most opportune time. I don't you could always hand over, hand over the mercenary as well, it. and then we could, um, you know, could win his favour that way. I don't care who we take the ledger to, but I feel like we should definitely have some backup on this one. Who knows what kind of powers he has. You heard the I letter that like, I read. I feel like we don't have much time left, whatever we're going to decide to do. I think we should do it soon. Probably they can't perform the ritual in the day. How do we know that? You know, the, the light of Moloch. Surely it must be there for the ritual. Maybe. Um, but you can we... still see the moon, even during the day. Fine. Some of okay, us go let's... to the, the guard or the Inquisitor then, the rest of us will charge two guns. No, we got to go to Frederick. Uh... Sorry, Frederick. Yeah, okay, me, you, Run. we'll do that. Um... I'll come with you. Antares, you coming with us? Yeah, Lorne can take the ledger to the Inquisitor. Yeah, you seem to go on. I was like, to me. Do you want to take, um, you know, Flux Boy with you as well? Yeah, where am I going? I don't think he would agree with the Inquisitor. I, I, I think if they, they saw my face, they, he might fucking go after me or something. Oh, do you want to come? Oh, do you want to go to the pub to see if you can find our lost land? Well, I was thinking about handling affairs from the ship if I can, but hmm. I'm, I, I, I'm not a fan of going alone. But my, my matters don't seem as concerning, so... I return to Lorne. Um, potentially tell the Witch Hunter that you believe Owen's working with Tugan. Yes, that would certainly get his attention. I'm going to back it up with, this, with the ledger. In fact, I will come to the Witch Hunter. He might actually have answers for me. Um, I, I, did I manage to keep any of the Warpstone bullets intact when I removed them, Lynn? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I'll hand over the little baggie of them and just say, take those as well as evidence. Yeah, I'll, I'm holding What them. happened to the papers that Antarius had? Uh... Antarius decided to sketch one page. I stole the whole ledger. I hand it over. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Brilliant. I'd, That'll I'd be sufficient, I think. I'd open my pouch, it has the warp stone in, just so you put the bullets in there. Might as well keep them together. No, keep, I you, will be holding on to that. Oh, okay, I... Well... Mm. We can, cor we can correlate the, the Rat Hunter bullets. Maybe they have some way of telling if this warp stone and the bullets are the same thing. Likely. Uh, that is an excellent shout there, Runk. Um, yeah, so I guess we just hand over everything to Lord that's kind of related to this quest. I'm, keeping, right. up, I'm keeping a hold of my baggy. So, Lord's got Oh, oh sorry, yeah, you're, you're going with him. Actually, yeah, I'll give the bullets to, to fucking Kerns as well, considering last time Lord tried to smash them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, things. good point. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll give my bullets to um, Kerns and I'll give my book to Lord. Remember, lads, values not only in coin, but knowledge too, so always hold on to everything. Not the necklace is gold, I agree, my friend. Well, let's not keep the Inquisitors waiting. Alright, let's go. As you were uh, all set let off. Me, let, let me change my pantaloons. 
as you will set off from the Berra Belly after Kern uh, acquires a change of clothes. <laughs> Meanwhile, a few hours before, Antorius, you have been dragged inside House oh, no. Tugan. You are hauled by uh, by your collar down a flight of spiral stairs down into like a grimy cellar where you are thrown into a corner and chained with a manacle to a bracket on the wall. The two guards, the two guards that are dragging you along talk to each other for a moment before they uh, start heading back up the stairs, leaving you on your own in what looks like a wine cellar. This is fantastic. <laughs> it is dark, so gloomy. There is one torch in this room. Did they chain up my hands at all? But you, your one good hand has been chained to the wall with a manacle. Uh, there's like a, like a bracket on the wall. Hmm. You can hear the sounds of footsteps descending the spiral staircase. I, uh... Kind of just wait for the moment. I'll, I'll let them talk to me, I suppose. You hear a distant voice. Is he secured? Yes, sir. He's not going anywhere. Good. Go upstairs and leave. Head out for the front door. Make sure there are no intrusions later tonight. I don't want us disturbed again. And make sure you get that window repaired at once. Yes, sir. The sound of clattering feet. And then... Coming down the stairs is Joseph Quartin. Quartin? All right there, Antarius. Do you remember me? What? <laughs> I just go. I just the go, large what? portly man smirks at you as he starts stepping closer, and as he does so, his belly begins to shrink back into himself and his form changes and one of his eyes turns purple and the other turns green and then he comes to a halt and crouches in front of you I have oh. many faces Antarius and yours will be one of them as well soon enough You should have kept to your own devices. There was no reason for you to get involved in all of this. You've only doomed yourself and your friends. Mm. So... What the hell are you? That is of immaterial consequence at this point. The only thing that matters is that you have helped me complete my objective. And for that, I am grateful. I shall make sure that your death is a quick one, and that, at least, you will not feel it too much. The great changer of ways shall come into this world by your hand. And all this world shall know fear once again, fear of the dark chaos tide that shall sweep down from the north, even as we destroy the Empire from within. All thanks to you, Antarius, and your little friend, Castor Liberung, of course. What's he got to do with this? <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. You'll see him at the ritual site, after all. Uh... Where you will be the sacrifice. Poor Frederick. Still, it was necessary. The trap is set. The rest of your friends will join you soon. He leans closer and he rips off a piece of your hair. I uh, flinch as he does so. He sniffs it, and then eats it. And 
as he crouches in front of front of front of you, you watch his entire body transform as he shapeshifts into you. That's quite the trick you've got there. <laughs> I'll see you again soon, Antarius, and so will your friends, but the circumstances will be a bit deceiving. He straightens up and starts making to leave. I let him, uh, uh, I don't really say anything else, I just let him watch me go. You watch yourself climb up the stairs, and now once again you find yourself alone in this wine cellar. Hmm. Did they leave anything on me? <laughs> Runk! <laughs> <laughs> like, we have never listened to anything Antares has planned, ever. <laughs> and yeah. this one time, we're like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know what, Antares, I think you're right. Let's take the quiet approach. Let's try talking. Yeah, let's have it exactly. at day man. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so did, did did they leave anything on me or am i like um well you don't have your dagger obviously you dropped that right right um you are still wearing your clothes at least uh your bag is gone they took that so you don't have any of your trappings or personal effects apart from your clothes mm-hmm um yeah, <laughs> it's kind of it. <laughs> you can, if you're so inclined, have tried to have concealed something. I don't really have anything that would do me any good at the moment. Um, how tight are the manacles? They are pretty, pretty tough. You could make a futile strength test to try and rip yourself free from the wall. But, oh no, uh, I was thinking about breaking my hand and uh, trying to slip it through. Could I do that? Like I break it at the thumb? You probably could try to do that. Um, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's going to be a tough die. one. <laughs> I could die. So with, uh, in order to do that, you're going to need to make a difficult cool test to be able to make yourself kind of kind of ready to do this. Okay. I start, uh, <laughs> I take, I, I take a deep breath. I start amping myself up like, all right, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And then, uh, I go ahead and try to break my fucking thumb. <laughs> a difficult, cool test. Yeah. What we got? <laughs> so you, uh, lean against the wall and you're just kind of like, <sighs> and then you just do it. You just do it. You just smash your thumb. You just, you just slam <laughs> I, it into I, the wall I, as hard as you can. You just crack it. And you suffer two wounds. Oh man, I'm unconscious. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> you crack your thumb and you fall slumping to the ground as you black out from the pain. And you feel your hand slip through the manacle as you collapse onto the ground. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna so like, they're gonna walk in like an hour later, find me blacked out, and just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> just, in time, just in time for my meme, and I think it sort of helps get <laughs> Does he also have a broken bone condition as well now? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, so poor Antares. Man, he has no hands. Whoops. Uh, hang on. There's like a <laughs> compendium that I can apply to you here. Because you, you've broken your thumb. I'm pretty sure that is literally a... Uh... There is a broken bone condition. Um, yeah. There's broken bone minor and broken bone major. It's injuries, broken... Is it broken, broken arm minor? Is that... Or is it fractured? I mean, that's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amazing. 
Yeah, okay, I'm gonna give you the. Uh, here we well, go. All right, all right, all right. Question: Can, can yeah. I, before I pass out, can I make a dark deal to like reduce it to one wound? That's. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it leave it to your discretion, but like I am at seven nine corruption, so like I'm I'm gonna start mutating soon enough. Like Jesus, dude. Dead. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Uh. I like how everyone tries to play a good guy, but yet everyone's corruption's higher than mine. No, I don't try to play a What's good guy. What's your corruption? It's I'm like greedy as shit. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. Increase your corruption rating by one, and uh, uh, the fury of corn and the indignation and rage at being impersonated. Just, you gotta fight through it. You gotta fight through it, you gotta keep going. You are gonna take this injury, though. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, um, that's a well, well second. Uh, 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 where is it? Broken arm minor. Okay. Yeah, you now have a minor broken arm. Um, okay. Great. Those are the effects. It takes three, 30 plus 1d10 days to heal. <laughs> What's wrong with me too, buddy? Hell yeah. Yeah, these critical injuries are very harsh. <laughs> Fucking no. brutal, dude. So you are effectively handsless for 30 days, is that right? Yeah, yeah basically. Not, not, not entirely. It's, uh, he, his ability to fight is fucked. Yeah, like, I won't be fighting at all, basically. Um, okay, so you said I'm in a wine cellar? Yeah. Uh, is there torches? There is one torch in here, yeah. Flammable is wine. Wine can be set on fire, yeah. I start opening up all the wine cellars and just, uh... I'm gonna light the fucking place on fire! Just fuck it! I've I've in anger mode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, you're using you... your teeth to get the bo <laughs> you, oh, yeah. No, sure. No, no. You use your teeth to uncork the fucking kegs. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't really grab it with my left hand. So like, I like I use like my pinky and like my palm basically to try to like wiggle it a little loose, and then I just you grab it with my teeth, and I just fucking cork start popping up every single wine cellar. Ain't that it like a monkey? <laughs> You're now, yeah. <laughs> you're now, pretty much like up to your like, up to like your shins in in wine as it's all pouring out of these kegs that you've pulled open. Okay, I grab the torch, I make my way up the stairs a little bit, and then I throw it into the wine. <laughs> the entire thing sets ablaze, and the heat is pretty much instantaneous. I start to leave. <laughs> 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 As you uh, come, uh, come clattering up the stairs, um, <laughs> the smoke like begins to fill this entire building. As you make your way towards the exit, you uh, head straight out of the main gate. Do you want to try and leave stealthily, or are you just rushing? Um, I'll try to be, go stealthily. I, sh I, I should be capable enough to do okay. that. Make a challenging stealth test. Uh... Okay. As um, you hear the clattering of boots of uh, some guards that are rushing down the spiral staircase, you uh, duck behind a pillar and let them all rush past you uh, before, uh, as they start running down towards the cellar, screaming in alarm. Um, before you uh, slip out through the front door, and uh, uh, I was gonna say, as as the guards like make their way downstairs, are there more torches around? Um, there were sh the sh chandeliers. That have lamps in them that are burning like lantern oil. Damn, I'm gonna try to like throw something at at the chandeliers while the guards are distracted with the fire downstairs, and uh, just add more oil. Just fuck it, we're going pure chaos right now. <laughs> um. And then, okay, and then so I'll you you, you look around for something reasonably heavy. You find you find like a clock. Um, yeah. like, a, like a handheld clock and you grab that and you believe to use that as some kind of blunt bludgeoning uh, uh, instrument 
you uh, can you make a challenging ballistic skill test? Challenging because you're doing it with a fucking broken thumb. Yeah. Um, let's see. Ballistics. What? Ballistics. Um, BS. Main sheet BS. Oh, yeah. right. That's right. Ballistics. Challenging. <laughs> you, you, you like feebly like overarm this clock like uh, with with this wet little whimper as like your your thumb hurts so bad and you like just throw this clock and it just like bounces off the chandelier and almost lands on your head and like falls to the ground uh, i say i say fuck it then i just want like <laughs> <laughs> As you scarper outside, you see that the gate is actually unlocked. Presumably, the person that, that had just left must have left it. So, oh, someone at my door. Hang on. Right. It's me! It stopped me. It's a really good thing that clock didn't hit you on the head there, Ontario. Oh, man, I would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just been knocked out. The guards probably would have ran from the fire, and they'd just been like, fuck the elf, and then I just would have burned alive in my own. <laughs> yeah, you really would have, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, like, I'd just be straight up dead. So, uh, okay. Like, I literally have, uh, one wound right now. <laughs> hey, so, uh, the no, range... I, made a, I made a meme just for you. This is going to be an original meme as well. For a lot of <laughs> Those memes are brilliant. <laughs> here you go, here you go, Lon. This one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> the fuck that's all for I mean, and I love it. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, so you uh, head out towards the main gate. Yeah. And you uh, you slip out into the olden ring, um, as most of the guards are inside, and you look around behind yourself, and you can see smoke billowing out of the uh, front door of this estate. Did I unlock the door? As I the leave? gate. Yeah. Um, you can. You don't have the key. You can close the latch, but yeah, that's what I want to do. I just, I just want to see if I can like see if I can like lock it as best I can. Yeah, you can close. You can close the latch. It's not really going to hold anyone from the inside, but it'll stop people getting in from from the outside. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I do that. That's fine. Okay. You uh, shut the gate behind you, and uh, as you uh, breathe in the scent of freedom, you uh, also feel the racking pain uh, coming from your thumb. And uh, obviously, uh, you know that there is a second Antarius out there. I start hobbling my way back to the ship, I guess. So no room can fix me up. Hopefully. Meanwhile, <laughs> down on the uh, Bergstrasse, um, Runk Whittled and a quote-unquote Antarius <laughs> are making their way <laughs> towards um, the, uh, ha the estate that uh, Frederick lives at. And uh, Antarius has the directions for. And uh, you've you've arrived at this kind of kind of sort of well-to-do townhouse. The guys uh, living in like some kind of middle-class area. It's not as nice as Tugan's place by any stretch of the imagination. It's not on the Olden Ring, but uh, it's a nice enough little townhouse. The um, reinforced wooden door um, is uh, looming in front of you. And uh, appears to be appears to be locked. All right, Runk, um, <laughs> yell at the door till it falls over. Um, I'd like to slam my axe into the door handle as hard as physically possible. 
Wait, where, where, wait, are we at the Inquisitor's house? What, what are we doing again? No, you're no, you're you're at the uh, at Frederick's house. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Who's, who's a member of the uh, club. axe handle? Boom. Um, so I shall use Big Boy, um, which is the name of my big axe. If you didn't know. Okay. Um, you uh, can you make for me a um, uh, average strength test? Sure. Oh, so I don't need to use weapon skill. Um, I was a creeping big boy and everything. Average strength test, yeah? Yep. Um, I, yeah, yeah. I just turn around and go, door is hard. You, uh, you, you, you slam into the, uh, into the door as hard as you can. Um, it creaks heavily and groans and then crumples forward. Huh. Falling back on itself. Um, you can hear a faint squidge of something fleshy and wet underneath it. Leading um, into what I... looks like a deserted building. It looks like immediately you can see that there are clearly signs of a struggle in here. Uh, can, I, can I lift the door up? Yeah. What's underneath the door? It looks like a person's hand. <gasps> Antares has been here. <laughs> wow. Now mangled <laughs> almost completely beyond all recognition. This is definitely Antares's hand. Wow. Does it look <laughs> like Antares's hand? What are you talking about, says Antares. Antares, is this your hand? I'll pick it up and wave it at him. Obviously not. <laughs> well, you only lost it two days ago. It could still yes. be okay. No, you have a hand. Let's have a look. See what else is in here? Look at this place. Um, yeah, I, I'm just. I, I guess I'm going to stop mocking Antares and just kind of throw the hand on the floor. Um, how many kind of exits are there off in this corridor? So you've basically barged your way into a main hall. Um, there is a staircase with a carpet running up it that looks like it's quite heavily scuffed. Um, there is one door that leads to the left and another door further along that also leads to the left as well. Oh. Up the stairs, it's kind of dark. You can see, you think there's a landing above. Looks like there might be another room up there. Um, I, I'd like to... I don't have any torches. What do I have? I'm sure I have something in my autistic bag of power. Um, I have a book on magic. <laughs> Um, I only have some matches, boys. Anyone got any torches or anything? Sorry. Uh, I only have matches, lads. Does anyone have a torch? Antares looks around and shrugs. You got your, um, you know, dwarf and see in the darkness. I can, but you guys can't. I'll be fine, uh, says Antares. Follow your hair. Uh, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Let me check my track. So I think I do have something. Does no one have a lantern? Uh, no, I couldn't afford one, and no one else buys things for the party. Uh, I got space for that, so one. I did have one in the sewer. Uh, uh, right. Okay. Uh, is there anywhere that looks? Is there anywhere that looks well lit? Uh, the, the the first room on the left looks like there is uh, lighting inside, possibly from a right. candle. Withold, you take that room. Antares, you go upstairs. I'll take the furthest door. Antares nods and starts making his way up the stairs. Uh, okay, we're told you uh, push your way into the first room and uh, pushing open the slightly ajar door uh, immediately the smell of blood and death fills your nostrils the study appears Studio. to be deserted It is uh, the main thing in this room is a huge oak desk there's a heavy wooden chair that's been overturned behind it Oh, where's the candle? Can I pick it up? The candle is on the uh, is on the desk. I'm going to go to the desk and pick up the candle. As you pick up the candle, um, as you kind of lean over to uh, pick it up, you can see that there is like what looks like a puddle of blood behind the chair, the overturned chair. I'm going to have a look. Is it? Uh... So you lean over and look a bit closer, you see that there's actually a corpse underneath 
the uh, underneath the desk with the missing hand. By the white wolf, what is going on here? The man looks to be quite well dressed. He uh, he is wearing various little pieces of jewellery. Um, his throat has been cut, by the looks of it. That seems where most of the blood is coming, that's soaking down into the carpet. There's also... Oh, well, this is awful. Can I search him for things? As you, uh, do, you, do you call for anyone else, or are you just looking at this yourself? Just a little look myself. You uh, pull the corpse out from underneath the desk and uh, rifle through its pockets. You find... Ah, oh, yes, the classic whittle being unable to read. Sketch. You find one gold crown. Oh. And a piece of parchment that you can't read. <laughs> hey, uh, Runk, there's a corpse here. Someone's robbed him. Um, I guess I'll stop making right. my way down the corridor. Right, come back. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll turn around and come jogging back. Oh, this place stinks. I uh, I found this uh, piece of paper. I think it says on there like um, uh, Runk looking at uh, looking at Whittold, you can see that his hands are like a bit blood stained, and uh, it definitely smells of death in here. Can I take the letter or? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll offer yep. it. I think it says something about like the evil guy's plans. Yes. I, I too can read that this is all of the evil guy's plans. Make it so, DM. You uh, have a look at this uh, missive. It seems that it consists of four letters that have been scrawled onto this parchment in a frenetic, desperate hand. W H S E. Isn't then, that like then, a name? Then there is a one, and then there is a, a shape of some type. It looks like a digit. It, it could be a three or possibly a seven. You're not entirely sure. It's marred by blood. What does that say? It says, Whittled Holsteiner sucks eggs. Well, I mean, I'm partial to Nick, but... No, it says W-H-S-E, but that means nothing to me. Well, that is my initials, isn't it? Is that right? Well, that that my initials? I think so. I don't know how bad my reading skills are. Yes, that is how you spell your, the first letters of your name. At some point, yes. you know... The S-E is unrelated, though. Right. Do you think you could teach me to read rank when this is all over? As you're if discussing the uh, as you're discussing the uh, intricacies of, of the written language, you hear a scream of help! Help! Murder! From the front door of the house. Jesus. Uh, I'll go charging outside. Was it Antares' voice? No. It sounds like a just a cry of somebody who was outside. Oh. And indeed, as you uh, you can see out of the window that there is what looks like a four-man watch patrol making its way towards the building that you're inside. Quick, we oh, got to get out the back. Uh, right um, upstairs, right is there upstairs. any other doors other than the one right by the front door? Uh, no. There is the room that you're currently in. There's another room behind it. And there are the stairs Antarius went up. Speaking of, you've not heard from him for a minute. Um, well, but is there any windows or anything either? There is a window in this room. Um, okay, right. And you, you don't know about upstairs on the landing. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go straight upstairs. Oh, can we slam the door? Let's slam the door and put something behind it quick. I mean, the, I mean, there is no door. I took it off its hinges, remember? Alright, upstairs. <laughs> yeah, there is going. indeed no door. Whittled, as you uh, come running around the, uh, come running out of the building to start heading up the stairs, you see Antarius stood at the top of them. And uh, as you start climbing the stairs, he drops what looks like a lamp down onto the carpet 
at the top of the set at the top of the stairs and set it on fire. Well, he clearly isn't the right Aeon Taurus because I'm going to charge straight through the fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the Whittled Special. <laughs> what are you doing? You were supposed to be balanced the party, not the stress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Whittle, can you make for me a challenging endurance test as you throw yourself into the fire and flames? Ah, classic. Classic Whittle. Wow. <laughs> wow, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, well... Faster what... than a speeding bullet. What is, what is, uh, what is your objective here? Uh, I'm just going to run up the stairs. I'm going to give him... Yeah, Tyrus a little push. Be like, what the hell are you doing? You're going to hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. As you uh, charge through the, st as you charge through the uh, through the roaring flames, with a smouldering on the carpet, as as Antares has dropped this lamp, you uh, slam into him, still smouldering with fire, and crack him against the uh, side of the wall. At which point, you feel like something squish underneath you, as if like you had somehow compressed his entire rib cage. Yeah, I think they elves felt like that. You should have minded your own business! Antarius hisses at you before he suddenly dissolves into a puddle. Uh, this is like the second worst liquid I've ever seen. <laughs> um, I'd also like to go charging up the stairs, please. Okay. Um, you can also make no, an don't, don't, um, uh, don't do you... it. Like you're not trained. You're not a fireman like me. You're not a firefighter. You gotta do it. <laughs> The, uh, the four watchmen are uh, almost at the door as you uh, go barreling up the stairs. You need to make an endurance test as well. What's it? Difficulty? Uh, challenging. I can do it. Whoa. Well, I guess, I guess you're both absolute hard asses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Through the fire and the flames we carry on. <laughs> As you go barging through the fire, uh, the pair of you are still, like, smoking. Like, Runk, Runk, your, Runk, Runk your beard is on fire. Runk, 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 Runk. I succeeded, man! Yeah, but yeah, you're fine, but your beard's on fire. The elf okay, just I... turned into, like, ooze. Um, but can I see the puddle of ooze? You can indeed see the dissolving puddle of ooze. I don't know, he just I'm, said, I'm... we should have, it, it didn't sound like it then for a second. He said, you should have kept out this or something, and they just melted. Like, do elves do that? Um, fire? Do I, do, can, can I try and see if I recognise this ooze or have heard of a creature that does this or anything using chaos or whatever? Uh, make a very hard Law of Chaos test. Come on, baby. It's going to be the ball. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Run can we tell. Very, very hard. Solve the problem. Yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're not just brains, man. Jesus. You believe that you've encountered one of these creatures a long time ago. Um, you think that they're, they're, they're known as emissaries. They are servants of chaos deities that are capable of, well, particularly Zinch in particular, more than any of the other chaos deities. And they're capable of transforming themselves into various different shapes. They're shapeshifters. And they're able to mimic and emulate others in order to manipulate uh, politics and transform the course of events to the liking of their malicious and evil master. Mm. Do I know their weakness? Because that's the only thing I think like Slayer would really remember. They are bound to this world through the service and conjuring of a mortal. If that mortal is slain, the creature is banished. Okay, so they, they themselves have no inherent weaknesses other than a normal human. It's just that they're basically parasites. Yes. Okay, alright. Um, well, the fact this one melted, does that mean he's dead before? No, he has gone back to his master, I assume. You are aware that as long as the master is still alive, the creature will weaken itself every time it dies, but it can reform. Uh, um, I'll just grab what's on. So I'll speak. We'll speak later on this. We must go now. At least the fire will keep the guards on my 
Indeed, you can hear oh, the wait, roaring. Um... Oh, sorry, no, you're not mad, carry on. You can hear the shouting of the men downstairs. Oi! Get down here! You're wanted! You shall never catch Gancho and Pancho as I run away. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the dynamic Estallian duo uh, flee across the landing. Um, you have two options. There is a window out of the front, or there's a window out of the back. Uh, neither of them are particularly appealing options, but maybe the back might get you into an alleyway. Either way, it's going to be about a 10 to 15 foot drop. Um, aha! How, how, wait, the fire's still burning behind us, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to tie the rope to something nearby, because I have 20 foot of rope. Okay, you can bind it to the uh, railing for the curtain. Sure, I'll, I'll tie it to that if it looks strong enough, and then I will... Uh, and I'll, 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 I'll Batman style it leap out the window holding onto this rope. Okay, sure. Um, you uh, can abseil your way down. Make a challenging climb test with a plus 10 modifier. Whittle, you need to do the same. Oh no, this involves my hand. A, only a plus five modifier. I failed. The hand failed me. Here we go. Climb this with a plus five. Did you say? Uh, no, plus, plus ten. ten. Plus it's ten. just my, mine's only plus five. Runks does anything shit. to do with my hand? Yeah, I've lost a finger. Can I uh, help run? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can. Mm. As, uh, the, as, uh, uh, climb intelligence, you, you see Runk uh, lose his grip and start slipping and beginning to fall. Um, you have an option. You can let him fall, or you can grab him by the beard. Sorry, buddy, I'm grabbing your beard. The burning beard. Yeah. <laughs> well, Whittle doesn't scare the fire, small thing. No. Um, okay. What happens when he grabs my beard? Whittled seizes you by the beard, giving you just enough resistance despite the pain for you to re-secure your grip and prevent yourself from tumbling all the way ten feet down. And uh, you're able to uh, to slide down the rope and are soon followed by Whittled. My beard is already burnt. Grab my handle. And I spit angrily on the floor and then just kind of storm off. Sorry, Rank, I couldn't let you fall. Not talking to you right now. Oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> Indeed, uh, as you uh, leave the smouldering estate of Frederick Magirius behind you, pondering the w strange doppelganger Antarius that you have just wrangled with, um, what are your next steps? Meanwhile... Um. Um, while you're thinking about that, Lorne is making his way to the town hall. You have, um... And me! Oh, and uh, you going as well? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> right, so uh, you've made your way down the Platzweg, um, and you've crossed over the Kaufmannstrasse. Um, you can hear the cheering of, um, the, lots of, like, noise coming from outside the eastern walls of the town. Presumably... It's the sound of people preparing for the last day of the Schaffenfest and uh, the archery competition. And indeed, as you reach the Olden Ring, you can see that Councillor Tugan's house is on fire. <clears throat> Lorne? I'm going to quickly run past the house to make sure that there's no one actually burning, and then head into the town hall. You can hear the uh, loud dinging of bells. There are various people running back and forth from the house to the nearby fountain, carrying buckets. You uh, you can't see any corpses, but uh, there is a large crowd of people gathered and uh, kind of talking excitedly. Does it look like it's well under control, or...? More or less, yeah, you think that uh, there is a sizable uh, detachment of bodyguards responsible for looking after the building that uh, seem to have the situation quite under control. I'm going to go amongst the crowds and see what, if I can find out what's, what's happened here. 
Seen. Has the Inquisitor stepped out of the town hall to have a look? Not that you've seen. Okay, in that case, I'm going to prioritize finding him, um, and then I'll return to the burning house if there's anything I can do to help. Okay. Uh, Kurt, you make your way into the crowd. You can make a average gossip test and see what you can learn. You, uh, you, you sidle up to uh, a few few people nearby um, who mutter uncomfortably that you smell a bit of shit and that you should uh, go away quite promptly. You make your way over to some uh, less reputable-looking sorts who uh, inform you um, quite excitedly and emphatically that there is definitely a masked vigilante who has been bringing justice to all the corrupt merchants in the city, and that he's fighting for the freedom of the lower classes. Uh, uh, it, despite the form, the, 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 for, the formal, when I've been rejected, I hang my head in shame, but more than hearing that, I just smile pridefully. I tap the mask that's hidden under my... <laughs> 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 Superman hang where he like pulls the shirt off and it sees the S. <laughs> <laughs> I walk off then, fuck. Uh, having failed actually finding Rep2 information, I'll find my way back to Lorne. Oh, uh, who knows? Maybe maybe, maybe there really is a mass vigilante who set fire to Council of Chicken's house. Yeah, there is. It's me. Yeah. Yeah. It's Kern sleepwalking. <laughs> it's not Superman, it's Shitter Man. <laughs> as you arrive at the town hall, um, you actually see that as you're climbing the steps, the uh, Inquisitor Gianni Azatz has made his way out of the building and is just leaving with the company of what looks like two soldiers. I'm going to shout over to him, Inquisitor! Don't shout! Don't! <sighs> you again! <laughs> Have you come to bring me Erwin Block? I'm afraid I haven't seen him since last we spoke. Then why are you here? I have come across some evidence about the corruption in this town that I think may be of some interest to yourself. Uh, and I'm going to hand him the, uh, what was it, the dossier? He frowns at you um, as you hand over the uh, ledger. For a man who is not involved in the Inquisition, you seem to take a questionable amount of interest in such matters as chaos corruption. The lady demands that we seek it out and purge it. The lady is not responsible for the well-being of Reichland. It does not matter where it be. As long as I am nearby, the lady demands I purge it. I'm sorry, sir. He's very adamant about these, you know, these Bretonian folk. It's love. Let's see how adamant he is after he finds himself face first with a jail cell and an inquisitor of certain skill sets which are different to mine. He continues to scowl and then looks down at the ledger. What is this? House Tugan? Yes, I've heard reports that they've been involved in witchery, um, and I believe... Reports? Can you substantiate this? I'm going to gesture to Kern to um, open his bag. <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not open the <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my Christ. god, dude. Nah. I'm deleting that one, buddy. I'm deleting that one's getting deleted. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, my dude. Oh, my <laughs> away. Um, oh, I'm getting a dry bulk. I, I, I don't pull out the full bag. I just take out a single bullet in my gloved hand to and present it subtly to the Inquisitor so that you know, no one sees. Gianni's eyes widen in horror. Guards, crazy. seize him now! Well, it's, it's a bullet. Oh, he, he, it's this... this Bretonian told me to give it to you. I don't know what it is. You, you need to be it. coming with us, it. fella. Mutter the two soldiers. What did, what did I do? What did I do? I'm helping you. You, you asked for question, answers. I'm 
giving you them. You're in possession of contraband that is known to be associated with chaos and heretical cults. Yes, and I I'm forfeiting to the authorities. Like indeed, a and I need to take you in for questioning. Um, this was found in relation to Councillor Tugan. Indeed, we'll see what the other Inquisitors make of that. Well, Come I'd with be, me. I'd be, I'd keep your distance. I've got. I've you got are the, under I've, arrest. I've got the flux. I would. The guards pause. Wait. Keep your distance with him. He yeah. is severely ill. Uh, However, I've just, the, I've just took the wee vial and it's a bit all clogged up for now. But you know, it's a, it, won't, it won't be long. I'd recommend holding him and conducting your interview at the Temple of Shalia, so they are on hand should anything unpleasant happen. That is absolutely revolting. These accusations are absurd. Councillor Tugan has been a good member of this society for the past two years. In fact, by his auspice, Alone, this city has seen itself to a level of commercial enterprise and success never before seen in Reichland. And why is that? Are you being... Are you in his employ as opposed to Sigmar's? Of course not. Then... But the Inquisition why... knows who its friends are. So he's funding you then? And he's you're... doing nothing of the sort and if you continue to make such accusations I will have you arrested. Well, Sigma would demand that you investigate this to prove his innocence in that case. You will not tell me what Sigma demands! You have no right! Are you saying Sigma cares less about corruption than the lady? Choose your next words carefully, Bretonian. I have said my piece. Uh, um... and... He scrunches up the, uh, the dossier in his left hand. You are at the utter mercy of my goodwill. Bring me Owen Block and we can continue this conversation. Until then, we have nothing uh, more I, to say to each other. I know where that Owen Block is. He's at the Cross Pikes. He left the ship. One of the lads in the ships told me. Make a challenging charm test. Fuck. None of you thought to mention that you know he works for Councillor Tugan. I wasn't going to say a downright lie like that. Uh. Is that so? Well then, why don't you go and bring him to me? One of my soldiers will be happy to escort you. Uh, I, I'll take that. I'll happily go there. I'll bring bring him right to you. As I say, I'm a loyal servant of the Empire, not like this Bretonian here. Gerard, go with him. Make sure he doesn't get away. Bring him back to me if he's a liar. Yes, sir. Of course. No problem. Good. Gets me out of there. Also, Inquisitor, on my way over here, I noticed that Councillor Tugan's house was aflame. Has anything happened there that would cause such a disaster? Though regrettable, matters of fire are more most commonplace in the city. They're inevitable. They happen at least once a month. But to someone who is so wealthy and surely well prepared against such eventualities, it seems unusual, does it not? Indeed, that is why insurance companies exist. Surely the Inquisitor would want to have a look to see if the reputable Councillor Tugan had that been... That is the last time you, Bretonian outlander, are going to tell me what my job is. Do you understand? I was merely suggesting that if someone had... I suggest him, that you leave now. I trust you'll be in contact with me should you need anything further. Get out of my sight. I'm going to smile and walk off. You have not retrieved the ledger. He still has it. Yes, I'm aware of that. Um, Kern, for his part, is being escorted away um, towards the crossed pikes by a halberdier. I just subtly motion the loan that you know, I've got this. I'm going to give him a nod. <laughs> um, 
and where do you go from there? Uh, I'm going to head to the Temple of Shalia just because I need some healing and see if they can do anything for me. Um, okay. Antarius, you have managed to make it back to the Bearer Belly. Is there anyone at the Bearer Belly? <clears throat> I don't think that there is actually anybody there at the moment. Um, I don't know whether Whittold and Runk are intending to head there. Are there any uh, people that work on the bear belly there? Uh, Joseph is here. Wait a second. I'm going to go talk to him. Okay. Antarius, you're back. The others were asking where you'd gotten to. I am back indeed. I kind of just look at it suspicious. So how, how did it go down at... Uh, where was it that you lot went to? In fact, where's Runk? I'm not sure. Where did they say they were going? Well, they went with you. We were here last night. Were you not here this morning? No, I was down at the temple. Why? I wanted to visit the temple of Shalia. I've uh, not been feeling too well, if you understand my meaning. I don't uh, want to blame nobody. But, uh, not been in the best condition. Sure. I kind of just keep staring at him, and I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to figure it out. Um, do I notice anything off about him with my sixth sense? As far as you can tell, looking at him, you, yeah, he, do he does look a little bit worse for wear, to be fair. Now that, now that he mentions it, he looks a bit pale, but otherwise he looks normal. I don't sense, like, magic around him or anything. Not that you can see, not that you can perceive. Have you been a good friend to us, Joseph? Joseph? What, what's that supposed to mean? Why would I not be your friend? Have you been talking to anyone lately? Around town? Well... I mean, there's a... There's a few fellas at the Cross Pikes, what I uh, do business with sometimes, but I've been doing that for a while, why? Who, who at the Cross Pikes? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, well, there's this fella called Sand, you see. Um, he's inclined to uh, make certain connections where they need to be made between certain clients and certain suppliers, if you follow my drift. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you, Bretonian wine isn't the only reason I'm in Bogenhafen. Right. Why are you here in Bogenhafen? <sighs> Is that something we need to talk about, Antarius? I think it is. Why? Because I've had a very peculiar evening. Look, mate, I paid you well when you escorted my ship down here. I've been very good to you people. I've given you shelter. I've looked after you. I've sticked by your side when the Inquisition came asking questions. So, why are you asking so many questions of me now? Because we had a conversation last night, you and I, and I don't know if you are you. The fuck is that supposed to mean? There's someone, or something, that can mimic our appearances, and it's mimicked yours, and it spoke to me last night when I went out. The man looks horrified. What so I'm asking you, very plainly. If there's something I need to know about right now, now's the time. Make an easy charm test. The man pauses. He sits there for a moment. He puts his hands together. And he drums his fingers on his knuckles. He looks pensive. <sighs> okay. 
I've been smuggling warp stone. For two again. Yeah. I see. That's why he has your appearance. They pay well. They just tell me not to ask questions. I hand it over at the cross pikes. That's all there is to it. I'm not involved any more than that. That's all I do. I just move do the warp stone. Do you hand it off to the sand character? Yeah. Okay. They said that Wait. as long as I don't tell nobody and I don't... I don't mention anything, then I'll get me money, and I can pay off the debts, and I'll be okay. Who do you get the work done from? Um, actually, I need to refer to another book for that one. Hang on. Where is it? Uh, Wouldn't be the people that runk and that killed, would it? No, no, it's... Ah, it, yeah. Um... Uh, it's from the Witkin signs near Old Dorf. Yeah. There's a man what I meet down there um, when I'm stopping at Old Dorf. We pick it up at Weisberg. Okay. Do you know how they get it? Or you... No, you don't ask questions. You're too smart for that. Okay. Look, don't. Please don't. Don't tell the Inquisition. Don't. Don't tell. Anyone, please. I. It's. Uh, I know. I, I understand your plight. Look, I. I owe people money. I. I have because of the barge. I have to. Otherwise, I'll get in big trouble. Big, big, big trouble if I don't make those payments. How much do you owe? Forty gold crowns. I see. I'll tell you what. We're gonna keep this little secret between you and me. But the next time you get this collection of warp stone, it's not gonna be coming here to Bogenhofen. But my cohorts, my uh, embassy, will be collecting. Do you understand? If if I do that, they'll find out. And I'm aware. And well, well, they'll come for me. They won't let me. They won't let me get away with it. We're going to take care of them here in Bogenhofen. <sighs> when the Schaffen Fest ends, I'm meant to head back up to Weisbrook to make a second collection. Okay. So there's a couple of days left, correct? Two days. That's why I've been trying to push you guys to finish with your business here in Bogenhafen. I see. So, like I said, I'm going to keep this little secret between you and me because the others won't understand. They'll try to throw you to the Inquisition or they'll just say that you're someone that you're not essentially I on the other hand I see opportunity for my people so you don't need to worry about that we're going to take care of the people here in Bogenhaven I'm going to try to convince the others that we need to do so and that'll be at the end of it okay well I'm just going to keep my head down I don't know what's going on around here. I don't know what all this is about. I just I just get the work and I do it and that's it. Mm -hmm. You I don't know what what you mean by this thing that looks like me. But I feel like there's something really weird going on because you came by earlier and you went with Runk and Whittled to to some fella's house. Yeah. Um, he took my appearance before um, during the night. That's why he, he, you saw me this morning. But I hold up my, my broken thumb. But as you can see, I've been a little bit busy. 
He uh, he looks quite alarmed at this. You need to go and see a physician. Yeah, that's full. I came back here to look for Runk, honestly, but I'm glad we cleared this little situation up between us. What are where are Runk and Whittled intending to go? I literally just asked that. I had no idea. I mean, I was angrily storming off. I don't care where we went, really. Oh. I guess the boats are good places. I'll just uh, well, we can pick up from there. I'll just go up. And... Yeah. I guess the boats are good places anyway to storm off to because that was kind of the end of our plan was to rescue this dude who is now dead. So. Indeed. So you've still got this note with you, um, and yeah, I suppose you arrive at the Bear Belly. Um, Lorne, were you also going back to the Bear Belly, or were you following Kurt? I was going to the Temple of Shalia. Just to you were going to the Temple of Shalia, there. right? Okay. So uh, yeah, okay. sure. You, you can. Uh, can't. Um, you are making your way towards the cross pikes. Uh, are you intending to try and give this guy the slip, or what are you planning to do? Um, uh, I plan on, yeah, like, trying to get rid of this guy, uh, either through maybe if I spy an opportune time on my way to the cross pikes, or even in the cross pikes itself. Because surely bringing a guard to a meetup is going to cause a bit of ruckus, and that guard's not welcome. Okay. So, um, this uh, guard is uh, walking along beside you. Uh, finally, you've uh, arrived uh, outside the cross pikes. It's uh, pretty quiet today. Um, doesn't look like there's too many people here. Most of them are out at the Schaffenfest. Well, why don't you go in and get him then? This uh, Irwin. Uh, yes, uh, now, I believe he might try and run upon seeing you, so if you wait outside, I'll go in, I'll get him, I'll come back out. Roll a challenging charm test. Let's <laughs> see if he'll buy that fucking yarn. <laughs> oh I'd yeah, buy right, buy everything. try pulling the other one, I'm coming in with you, you're not getting away that easy. Uh, f fair enough, okay, but if things go, you know, hairy in there, I, I warned you. We'll be fine. Come on, let's go, you little rat. You're lying, I know you're lying, he's not in there. Well, that's what I heard from the boat, okay. We, 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 I'll walk in. Yeah, follows in behind you. Um, you can see that the barkeep is here. Um, otherwise, there are a handful of patrons. You, you don't see sand anywhere. Uh, you also don't see the uh, fellow that you sent from the Barabelli either. Is there, as a like in the room? Is it just like a single floor? Is there stairs? Is there a back door? Um, so a there is a back door that you presume would lead into a kitchen. Um, the privy is outside. Um, there is a main common hall. Um, in the corner of one of the in, uh, in the corner of this common hall is like a like a few benches and bunks and stuff like this where, where people are like basically paying the tavern keep like a few copper pennies to have a place to sleep on the floor. Um, there is an upstairs and whether there's anything else uh, behind the uh, kitchen you don't know. Alright, well, I'd uh, go to like wait, if, if, does the barkeeper see me entering? Because if he does I'd make the signal. He does, yeah. I'll make the signal to him and then just find us table. He squints at you for a moment and then uh, continues polishing his uh, little tankard. You sit down at one of the tables and uh, the guard walks over and stands next to you. Um, all of the other patrons nearby are kind of eyeing him like quite shiftily. Sit down. Uh, it'll take a minute or two. Might I well don't see him. any Irwin round here. Yeah, he's obviously hiding that way, so sit down and make yourself look not suspicious. He scowls and then eventually sits himself down. Good. Now, do you want a pint? I don't want a pint. I want Irwin. I've got a job to do. Yeah, so it's going to take a minute or two, so you might as well enjoy yourself. Yeah, all right, fine. You're okay. paying, though. Of course. 
Um, I assume you like tell the barkeep mm -hmm. that you want a pint. I'd um, hold two fingers. Up. He uh, nods and heads round into the back of the kitchen. A few moments pass. A few moments pass, uh, and then another man comes out. Um, makes his way over towards the uh, over towards your table, uh, carrying what looks like uh, two tankards. He uh, sets them down next to both of you, and then slides into a seat next to you. Uh, he offers you a uh, slight smile. Um, looking at him, you recognize Sand. Mm. Uh, uh, I, I sent a man here last night, Sand, uh, but he's not showed back up. Have you seen him? Oh, I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't worry about him over there. He's with me. He's a little hired guard for me. Uh huh. Is that so? Why is he wearing the badge of the Inquisition then? Don't you know? It's the easiest way to get about. They're in town. <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah, that's pretty clever. How'd you get a hold of that? Elf companion of mine has a way of needles. Erwin. So. Uh, Erwin? Not Erwin. Um, the guard leans forward, scowling. This man don't look like Erwin to me. Yes, Erwin was here last night, but mm, seems he's disappeared. Thunder San, accusingly. Oh, right. So you're looking for somebody. Well, I'm looking for Erwin! Where is he? Alright, no need to get touchy. No need to get touchy. I'll go and find him for you. Why don't you two just wait here? Right. Sand offers you a slight smile and then gets to his feet again and heads towards the kitchen. Um. Yeah, you know, I'd uh, raise the pints. I'd try and you know, have a wee toast see if he takes a sip, but I'd, I kind of hold back. I don't drink mine. He uh, raises it towards you. And uh, tilts back the uh, pint. He drinks it down. I'll watch him for a minute. He sways a little bit, looking slightly woozy, and his eyes start to droop. And I'll then he slumps forward up. onto the desk. I'll stand up and leave. You make your way towards the door where you came from, and you head out onto the street. Uh, I'd quickly try and duck into an alley, f flip the mask on, and run. Flip <laughs> the mask on. <laughs> you put on your <laughs> you put on your vigilante mask on, yes. and you start making your way down the Nolnaveg. <laughs> try and make my way As you, back leave, to you me. leave this comatose, poisoned guard uh, lying face down in the crossed pikes. Yeah, I'm just running to the bare belly. Around this time, um, Runk and uh, Whittold have arrived back at the ship. Uh, I'd like to go charging up and kind of like tackle um, Antarius. Oh, I'm like dead in a cot, dude. I'm like not even moving. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I thought you were still on deck talking to Joseph. Oh, no, like after I had my talk with him, I, I, I would definitely head down to a cot and just like lie. Just fucking dead. <laughs> I have literally one. Oh, okay. left. Like I'm fucking like on my last beat, basically. All right. Um, yeah, in that case, then I'll go kind of like running up, um, looking around, trying to find Antares, find trying trying to find the rest of our group. Because obviously, I, as I'm mother henning right now, and I'm concerned um, about everybody. As you arrive back, uh, you are met with a frantic-looking Joseph. Runk. Runk, there's, there's, a, there's a monster, and it looks like Antarius, and it looks like me. Yeah, we've met it. Is it here? Uh, I think it was, and then you went with it. Yes, it was us Antarius then. When was it you? Well, Antarius told me it was me. Right, so Antarius is back now. Yeah, he's downstairs. I'm going to go charging downstairs to try and find Antarius. Uh, like what I does Whittle do? Uh, yeah, I'll follow him down. <laughs> wait, wait, no, I went. How do we know this one's real? The only one I know is real around here is Runk. Do you? 
Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna real? push. I'm gonna push Joseph <laughs> to see if he's squishy. <laughs> Is he real? <laughs> I'm going to poke Joseph and see if he's. Joseph squishy. is indeed very squishy. Shit, there's another one. Okay, I'm going to attack Joseph. <laughs> it <laughs> might be. It might be because he's fat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give him like a, a real solid push, like I slammed uh, Antares. He uh, is. He he's, like feels the same. He staggers backward. Um, he doesn't like. It, he's fat, uh, so obviously he gives way a bit. But uh, he doesn't. He doesn't do anything unusual or unnatural. But just he does look a bit. He does look a bit pissed off. Whoa! What the fuck's that for? Sorry, just I had to clarify. To sure. is, is it canon that their bones are squishy? Is that how I how you can tell? Well, that's what happened for Whittold. Um, yeah, whether, or, whether or not you know that's a trait. Um, uh... Is it basically? Do I have any way of identifying them, or is it just that Whittold may have worked out that bones are squishy? Whittled may have worked that out. You don't really have any meaningful way of identifying them. You know that okay. wizards supposedly are able to detect yeah, yeah. them, but you can't. Okay, I'm going to run downstairs to join run I, I, I'm going charging up to Antares and I'm putting my axe against his throat. And I'm like, Antares, all... he... <laughs> are you real? Antares, you're like chilling out in your hammock, like trying trying to like swallow the pain of your like broken thumb when suddenly there's a dwarf and it's charging at you. I'm like, oh, Jesus. I'm like, whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I want to run in and jump on Antarius. Oh, God. <laughs> Prove to me you're the real Antarius. I, I, I hold up my broken thumb. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Did he break his thumb in any shape or form when you, when you met him? No, but he turned to goo. Okay, uh, so... I, I, I know exactly what you're seeing. I know what happened. I'm so telling at this you... point, Erwin woke up. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there you go. Very chase, you've let us not be here. <laughs> oh, good lord, we fucking need you. <laughs> um, indeed, okay, yeah, sure. Erwin Block emerges from the privy of the Berra Belly, um, rubbing his sore ass after a very painful night. <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> Never you mind. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I'm like uh, all right, but all right. So, so what, what what did I say I was doing when I came back to the ship? What? Right. You, wh wh where was I last night? It's you I'm walked like. with us. We went to a house. You tried to burn us alive, and then turned into goo. How do I know that you're you? Right. But what did I say I was doing when I when I was coming back from the ship or to the ship? I don't know. I was commit. I was trying to kill some. I mean, commit surgery on Lorne. Okay. Okay. I can test him. I can test him. I can test okay, him. Okay. Now okay. I'm gonna jump on his chest. Oh god! <laughs> you 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 jump on Antorius's chest and he squidges as you would expect an elf to squidge. Oh my god! When you said squidges, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> He takes a wound and Taurus is unconscious. <laughs> Taurus oh, yeah, takes I, a wound I, and is yeah. unconscious. I take a wound and I'm unconscious. Honestly, That's he just Actually, I no, know. you know what, you know what, Antari Antari make an easy endurance test. Oh no. Oh, Jesus, I'm kind of <laughs> make, make an easy endurance test. Let's see if fucking uh, Whittle knocks you out. Oh no. I think I have a health potion. I feel like- Yeah, I have, I have one health potion. Great. Did I roll? No, I didn't roll, hold on. Oh, there we go. I didn't mean to double You literally that. can't fail. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, if you need the link uh, when it's there. Wait, all what are you doing? It's the only way you tell. You jump on them, and if they go squishy, they're, you know, they're fake. I just, I just wheeze. I'm like... <laughs> and is he real? He's real, real yeah. I'm just... Um, I'm gonna look at his... I'm gonna look at his fucked up hand, and I'm just like... Jesus! Uh, and I'll, I'll pull out a health potion and I'll give it to well, So I'll give it to Antares. Grimnir, that, my... <laughs> that is the last of our supplies. Okay. Yeah, but the uh... real question is, how do we know that this is the real Erwin? Crit run, slam him. Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll grab Erwin and slam him against the wall of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Does he squish Liam? What? <laughs> Why? Tell <laughs> the truth, Liam. Does he squish? <laughs> Uh, 
like he's just been shitting his guts up all night and half the day, and I'm just like squishing him against the wall. Right, so <laughs> your game, your game's not connected. Uh, yeah, I can't see the map. I can see the the, the game background. And stuff. How long have you had it loading for? A couple of minutes, I guess, three or four minutes. It, oh. it takes a while to load. They haven't seen five and ten, mate, unfortunately. Yeah, okay, we, we've, we've been having some technical issues today, unfortunately. Um, it, it should let you in. if Leave it for like five minutes. If it doesn't work, refresh it. Oh, and then I'm in. Enter. Oh. Just as you say. Oh, there you go. Perfect. All right, there you go. Cool. Right. D does he squish Liam or not? Do I squish? As, as one would expect an Irwin to squish. Yes. Oh, thank God. Uh, I grab Irwin by the shoulder. Um... Why? <laughs> right. There's three things we need to talk about. Number one, there's some kind of emissary creature. I've encountered it once in the past, and it can take the form of those who it's taken some part of its body of hair, a toenail, flesh, anything. It can assume the form. Secondly, um, Antares, I think it was. Uh, Antares saw you doing magic. Is that true? Uh, uh um... I don't recall. Like looking around. Now is not. The time. <laughs> now, now is not the time to be shady about this. We need a wizard. Yeah, 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 yeah. And number three, do you have any way of potentially identifying magic? All I know is that last time I encountered one of these, it was a wizard who could tell what was real and what was fake. If I can see it, I can identify it. What, whatever Wait. it might be. Failing that, if you jump on them and they go squishy, then you know you've got one. I don't know, we, we can't jump on everyone we're told. It's weird enough when we do it to our friends. <laughs> if we could avoid the jumping in the future, that would be wonderful. I'm sorry, I hadn't tested you. Oh! God! Oh, Lord, the static. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, oh my skin! Oh. I think it's over. It's... Oh, my God. We just, <laughs> we just got flashbanged. Uh... Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Uh, how much do I heal for, from the uh, potion? It's your uh, toughness bonus, I think. That's the toughness bonus. Yeah, uh, I believe so. Yeah, it's your okay, toughness bonus. So, whatever your toughness bonus is. It should be five. I guess. Well, uh, what's your toughness um, current? Oh, it's 61. His current toughness oh, so, is. Yeah, you get six then. He's a tough like, Yeah, you get six wounds back. Oh, cool. You're a tough cookie. I'll yes. back up to seven. Okay, let's bring yeah, everyone back up to speed here. So we, uh, myself and Runk, went to the house to find this Frederick, and he's already been killed. Uh, but he left a note for we us. Not before that. So Tugan last night, we, we like we, we said we'd find out what was going on, and it yeah. turns out, and uh, well, actually, I don't even know anymore because <laughs> Ant Antarius <laughs> told us that Frederick was the sacrifice, and then. Um. And when we turned up, it wasn't it wasn't a real Antares, it was a fake Antares. I, what was true? I don't know what was true, Whistle. I don't understand anymore. So, so, um, allow me to explain. So last night, when you all went to bed, I decided I would try to get into the graces of Tugan by impersonating one of uh, this wizard's uh, apprentices, uh, Otelka Herzen. Um, yeah. That, that's one Dangerous. of the letters. Yeah. yeah, so that's one of the letters that we found in the Stevedore's Guild. I was going to try to impress him by sneaking into his house and having a conversation with him, but instead I found a dead body with uh, their rib cage ripped open and the heart missing. Ah. Um, do I do, do I recognize that at all? You do. As like you do. That's the same condition that um, Gotry was found in. And do I recognize that as any kind of cult thing or anything? Or uh, All you know is that it was the same sort of condition that was reported by the Temple of Moor as well. Okay, so, it's been, so we know there's been a lot of them, but uh, I, don't, I don't know how many connection with Chaos for that. Well, yeah, but it, it seems reasonable to deduce, but like, you don't know why. Yeah, yeah okay, cool. No, that's fine. That's the yeah. way they found Godfrey. It's exactly. gotta be culty, and they? they're stealing hearts. So, um... As I was exploring this room with the corpse, there was a woman. I don't know who her name it was or anything. Um, I found a cabinet that was locked, and I threw it over the ledge, thinking I could break it, grab the letter, or grab anything of note and leave. And I kind of fucked it. <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. Um, 
I could not re jump over the fence in time because they had greased the fence for some reason. So it's like they were expecting people to try to sneak in for some, whatever reason. Um, after that, I was, I was caught by the guards and I was brought into their cellar. And that's when the shapeshifter spoke to me in the form of Joseph, meaning that he's has he can be Joseph, but I've already spoken to Joseph. He's not him currently. Um, outside of that, he took my form and he said he was going to sacrifice me and a Frederick man. I don't know who it was, but he's going to sacrifice Frederick as well. For Frederick's this. dead. That was the guy we found who went to his house. But right. I don't I think it was. Uh, yeah, Severe. I don't think it was the same way because they, you know, they didn't take his heart. They just killed him. We are step behind. We thought we were step ahead. Here, yeah, you've got a good brain and types. So I found this this note on him, and it What's says say? like WHSE, and then there's a one or a seven. WHSE. There is a. They hand you this scrawled missive in a, in a frantic hand that looks like the, the letters were scratched out by someone that was very high on adrenaline or otherwise in a very panicked state. Um, and it's just written it in, in a frantic hand W-H-S-E one and then th the next digit is like blotched with some blood. It could be a three, it could be a seven. You're not sure. W-H-S-E Oh, warehouse southeast. That's what I was thinking. Warehouse really? southeast, number seventeen or thirteen. Oh, do you think I can read now? <laughs> uh, maybe, but this is pretty much shriveled. Um, I'm not too sure as if that's the case or not, but it might just be pointing to the warehouses we've already determined that to hold uh, the warp stone. Um, but wait, are you telling me I actually might have it right? Maybe. I'm not too sure. It, it, this could really be anything. I'm gonna grab Whittle by the by the arm and say, "Well done. I didn't think of that." Yeah, it's no, your uh, your your first lesson in reading, Runk. I like your your style of teaching. I I also found out too while I was captive in the wine cellar that uh, there's a connection between the underground here and Councillor Tugan, uh, a man named Sand. And, um... Sand? Yes. Oh, no. Have you heard of him? Yeah, I've met him. He's the, uh... The guy that we were talking to. The connection to the criminal underworld. Oh, no, because that's who we sent the guard to from the ship. That's... Oh. Yeah, Kurt might be in trouble if he's gone up there looking for help from Sand, then. Hmm. Okay. Should so... we help him? Well, I know where we can go. It was the Cross Keys pub. And you have to go there and make a funny noise. And then, like, the black market opens up to you. So how likely is the same Could have been more wrong. To, uh, <laughs> I know, yeah, Cross Pikes. <laughs> to be more cross of a pikes. survivalist than he is to, like, try to kill, turn against us. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I mean, I think he would, like, you know... He'd kill your dog for a bit of money, I would imagine. <laughs> Well, um, what I'm saying is, though, is that we figured out his whole plot. He can speak to the Inquisition, or he could try to work with us and try to just pin it all on Councillor Tugan. Yeah, well, we, we, sent, we, we sent Kurt and Lorne to the Inquisition. Surely they'll be on their way to help us. I mean, I was worried about that, but I'm sure Kurt will be intelligent enough not to let Lorne talk too much to them. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised not. no one's mentioned <laughs> why the Inquisitor even came around to begin with. Oh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, thank you. That's for the what the hell are you doing? To... Thanks, voice in the head. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Owen, the, the Inquisition are looking for you. They're here. Y yeah? Yes, while you're in the bathroom, Lorne spoke to them and said that you weren't here. But there's a, there's, there's a witch hunter here for you. Uh, witch hunter? Did he give his name? J um, Jack Jackie's something. He did, in fact. It sounded like foreign, didn't it? It did. Giuseppe. Should know Giuseppe. the name. Oh, Giuseppe something. That's, uh, that's... Shame, shame the guy who didn't hear it actually wrote it down. That's beautiful. That's really <laughs> beautiful. This is wonderful to, to, to just happen. Fantastic. I sense sarcasm. Yes, yes, great sarcasm. Uh, 
explanations, well, that's awfully, explanations. Oh, yeah it's awfully snappy considering we lied to the inquisition team now uh, us as a group you must understand we would never do anything against the inquisition uh we're law-abiding people he's not an inquisitor yes, he's, an, he's he's an idiot is who he is Listen, when 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 certain arrangements are made for an individual to join the colleges of magic, the family is not necessarily informed. Um, so this this witch hunter may believe that his young brother was kidnapped by witches. This is not the case. I am simply serving our empire in a different capacity. Does this make sense to you? So you're saying this guy? Don't worry, Antarius. I'm going to wrap up. Surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my brother, and he needs to be kept very, very ignorant about everything that I do. Everything that we do. Hypothetically, I how much do you like your brother? Not that I've, I've, we've engaged in killing witch hunters before, but... <laughs> if worse comes to worse, there are solutions. There is another relation of mine here. It, it's a city, actually. We could uh, inquire with. In fact, it may, it may be prudent to make a trip to the, the, the lay clergy of Manan, if we have the time. Well, I need some time to rest, but more importantly, you know, we can't always behead witch hunters. Lord's very fond of it. He dislikes those who destroy chaos. That's peculiar. How long have you traveled with this lawn? Uh, too long. It's been at least <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, I begin to suspect you're correct, yeah. Yeah. Listen, how about we go get Kearns, and then we just leave? <laughs> uh, can, can we leave this situation? I'm sure Lorna will work it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My yeah. Horse. <laughs> I'm coming back to kill you. <laughs> yeah, suddenly, yeah. Let's get Kearns and we'll draw lots for Lorna or something, yeah? Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> so we need to head. To, we need to head to the cross pikes. Is that right? I turn to Withold. Well, if you want to go off the sand. Well, if Lorne was going to see him, sorry, if, if Kern was going to see him, it might be a smart idea. Hmm. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Are we actually going to believe that this guy who's a uh, is not actually an inquisitor, a fake inquisitor, an idiot. He's running around with two armed guards. Oh no, he's he has legitimately badged. He is a witch hunter. He's just also an idiot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies for the confusion. It's all right. Lorne's legitimately a Bretonian knight, but I still think he's an idiot. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, we're going to wrap up the session here. Um, so can we can, can we make can we make the decision on if we're going to the pub or not? Sure, let's go to the pub. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna head to the cross pikes at the beginning of the next session. All right. That's okay. Good. Sorry for being so late this time, guys. No, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a shame. It's a shame. You should probably watch the beginning of this session. I will. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it it might entertain you. Um. So um we're gonna we're gonna wrap up here, everybody. Um, including Gerwin, because why not? Uh, everybody receives 70 experience. Oh, that's exactly how much you wanted, Runk. I spent all something else now, though, because I didn't Aww. have it at the beginning of the session. So I, I got an extra level and, to my uh, my toughness bonus. So. Antorius, you receive an extra 50. Okay. I'll, I'll be sure to add that when I get back tonight from my job. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. And then uh, we'll just do the voting quickly. We'll we'll start we'll start with uh, we'll start with Wendy. Um. Uh. Kind of hard. Everyone do, was doing pretty good today. Uh. I'll say uh, Bronk. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Uh, Lewis. Yeah. Um. I think I'm, I'm going to have to go for Withhold for leaping through fire and being my best best boy again back on the, the Withhold Runk squad. Oh. Nice. Okay, Lorne, 
Uh, Gonna go for Antarius for setting the Council of Jugan's house on fire and vengeance. That was, that was pretty badass. <laughs> <to be fair. laughs> uh, Quinn? Uh, yeah, I think Antarius, despite going against the team, he <laughs> fucking wanders off himself and starts a fire. Okay. And Lex? Yeah. Lex? Uh, I'm going to go for my boy Runk. Ooh. Ooh, I think, is that is that a split or steal? It's split or steal! It's a split or steal, boys! Split or steal. Drop me them PMs, what you doing? What you doing? Uh, I'm driving at the moment. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's, I'll, I'll message Liam and then you can okay, just say Okay, yeah, Runk will message me and then you can yeah. say it, so wait. Yeah, yeah, right, just so wait. let me know when you... Alright, hang on. Okay. Okay, what are you doing, Antares? Uh, what? <laughs> Rug, 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 Rug gets 20 XP. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I split last time and Kurt fucked me. So. <laughs> well, so like, I mean, my Kurt reason for going for the steal. Split, yeah, that, that's really the thing. It's like, I kind of figured Rug would go for the steal, so if I said steal, then none of us would get any XP. So I said fuck it, split it, you know? And that way, at least he well, gets the 20. I apologize, my dude. Unfortunately, I was just like, I am now want all the XP. Because I Gre found that Greedy, I greedy, greedy runk. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's completely fine, honestly. I don't really need XP as much as you do. You're like more fighter <laughs> guy. To be fair, I think Antorius might actually have the most XP. Do I really? Um, I think I'm at like 13, I, 20. Yeah, I, I just hit 1500 with that plus. No. Yeah, Jesus. so yeah, Runk's ahead of me. Oh no, yeah, like... Runk, Runk is ahead of you. Yeah, what? How yeah. you so much experience? I've only Because I kill uh, everything, dude. <laughs> uh, I've only told myself. Also, Runk's had quite a lot of the... Um... Short-term objectives. Of... That's ambitions. Yeah, he's had his ambitions, uh, and he's also he's had... easy campaign. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's, well, he's also had a few of the uh, votes as well. Yeah, I've yeah. had a few of the votes, but, but yeah, I think I've had three short-term ambitions as well. I'm okay, uh, just be, just before I wrap up though, Lorne, uh, I want to resolve your Shalia thing quickly. Um, okay. So, they are willing to offer you um, some healing supplies um, to treat some of your wounds. Um, you'll need to pay... Uh, oh, that's fucking greedy bitch. Nine silver shillings. And they are willing to treat you... Um, for your toughness bonus, plus three wounds. Cool. Can I also pay extra for su extra supplies and that? Uh, no, they're not willing to sell you any kind of like potions or poultices. You're going to need to go elsewhere for that one. Uh, I'll still check my gold coin and say thank you. Okay. Right, in which case, uh, yeah, you've, you've, you've received treatment over the better part of two hours, and then you're able to make your way back to the Barabelli. Cool. Oh, big times, big moves, big plays. Okay. Well, that was a, that was a crazy one. That was an odd one. Yeah, it was quite. Yeah. Yeah. It was quite short, but a lot happened. Yeah, quite, quite, quite a bit of stuff happened in that one, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. I knew the fucking drinks were poisoned, man. <laughs> you forget, yeah, you clocked onto that right away. <laughs> yeah, so we're starting, are we starting at 5 pm permanently now? And we're aiming to 5 till 8, is that um, right? Ideally, this should be the, the time. Uh, un unless Antorius' shifts change, um, this is this is when we're going to be doing it. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't know when exactly when my shifts will change, but I'll try to guys, give you guys like a, a couple week advance notice if uh, they do. Uh, this one just kind of came out of the blue, and then you guys dropped it on my lap, and I was like, oh, crap. It's, it's alright. Uh, like, like, fortunately, it seems like everyone was able to adapt, so it's yeah, still yeah. the end of the world. Yeah. I'll, I'll be able to make these times next week. I just still have my guests here. I thought they'd be flying out this morning, but they're not leaving till tomorrow, so I was kind of reacting. Hurry up and leave, I got D&D! &D. <laughs> <laughs> so, with, oh. so the, the, the new aim is 5, 5, 5 p.m. until 8.30-ish. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Sounds good to me. It's perfect, yeah. Sound. All right, guys. All right. Cheers for coming.
Uh, the record right. mobile player. Yeah, it's great. Sounds good. Uh, I, I'm at uh, PMU also, a little bit down. Yeah, all right. Okay, cool. Yeah, Liam, you need to let us know when the Elder Scrolls audiobook is online so we can all play. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I can uh, uh, sleep. Yeah, all right. That's cool. cool. <laughs> all right.